You've seen him for years as Hollywood's bad guy on TV and in movies. Now, listen to him right here. Here's your host, the multi-talented Jasper Cole. Right, howdy, 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 and welcome to On the Set with Jasper Cole. This will be your host, hostess with the most, is Jasper Cole, <laughs> coming to you live from Sunset Gower Studios right here in Hollywood, California. And we are back a week later than normal because of the Oscars last week, but this is going to be our Oscar award season roundup. And I'm here with my posse. One came all the way from Orange County, so please give a, a welcome <laughs> to Entertainment Dish with Dara Zane Scully. Work it out. Hello. Hi, Dara. Welcome back. You? Hi, honey. You've been away so long. Oh. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Well, everyone will notice uh, we've sort of switched up the seating because I have to say right off the bat, unfortunately, Ralph Cole Jr. is no longer with the show. <laughs> <laughs> He's so mean. He, he had another show. You're and, so mean. You know, and wow. as much wow. as I do, I appreciate him. Rest bitter, in peace. <laughs> bitter. Bitter party of Jasper. Trying to spread his wings. Um, I felt it was time that Ralph. Bitter party of five. And bitter uh, party oh, of five. Yeah. That, okay. Ralph. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you didn't get the. Oh. No, I did get the memo. This is and, awkward. <clears throat> yeah. No, I did right. actually get the, the memo. The termination. Oh. Yeah. And I was talking to Tony, too. So we are uh, Planet Eartha. So, you know, we are going to be having additional banners <laughs> so Ralph uh, here is in here the studio today. Oh. in the future. Jasper got very bent out of shape. So everyone, please welcome my <laughs> way too gay sidekick, Mr. Ralph Cole Jr. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for that glorious introduction, Jasper. Listen. Well, how did he get back in? I'm way too gay. I let him in. I put a note at the gate. I'm well. Sorry. It's like Kurds and way. I'm way. Did you have a restraining order? How did you get past security? <laughs> okay, first of all, when I walk up onto the lot now, right. Sam is so fierce. He is like, hello, would you like some watermelon? Here's your pass. So hey, it Roscoe's is, is wait, across the guy the in the street. booth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why would you <laughs> like sweet. some watermelon? Why would you say watermelon, Ralph? That's so racist. That's, it's not. Because Roscoe's is across because the street? Because it's a hot day. It's a, thank you, Dara. Right. Yes. You see, he we would need jump the to fluid. the racism. He would jump to the racism. He race totally would. Because he's from Georgia. Wow. Yes, 12 Years a Slave was really hard for him to watch. I know, really. He was probably really, really. Oh, oh my God! Oh. He was probably laughing through it. Did they, did they get any food hey, ever? Well, <laughs> but I throw it up anyway. <laughs> right. As long as you have a pretty face, you're good to go, right, Ralph? But everyone, we and that more, applies to you. More in importantly now. than Ralph, we have to welcome back a very special person here, Jay. Fucking Mr. W. John Williams oh, is thank back. Thank you, John. John. Okay. Yeah. The, other, the other John out. Williams. The other white me. The other, the other white John me. Williams. <laughs> John, you are fierce. Your haircut is always fabulous. Oh, thank it's you. It's always very edgy. Oh, yeah. And well, it's because well, Ralph, of the headphones. He's, he's younger than we are. <laughs> he's a lot younger. Isn't everybody <laughs> well, younger, younger than us? We're younger than Ralph. I'm the oldest in the room. But it doesn't show. So it's because black so, don't right, crack. Exactly. So I mean, it Cecily doesn't. Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> is she still alive? She is still know. alive. She's yeah. still working. The other day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're doing a, re a Miss Jane Pittman part two, aren't they? Oh no, that's the Purge part that's two. Pretty, You're oh, thinking of you okay? To but it to me. It's all about. It's actually not called two. It's called the Purge the, Anarchy. anarchy yeah, of the Purge Anarchy. anarchy. Oh, but anyway, okay. let's, no, I, no, oh, let's and get, you know what? Let's not forget Con, uh, Von, WonderCon. We need to know dates for okay, that later. Let, we'll oh, talk. Yeah, okay. but is that first March of all, 15th? yeah, but let's get right into telling everyone they they can follow yes. us on Facebook at On the Set with Jasper Cole, and also Twitter On the Set W Jasper, and the website On the Set with Jasper Cole. And how about you, ladies? Where can people find you? <laughs> are people actually following us? Absolutely. Okay. They okay. are me. I don't know about you. You're okay. on your own. Uh, <laughs> I'm on Twitter, Dara Zane Scully, and on um, Facebook, Entertainment Dish with Dara. And also, you have some cards. Don't I you? have some you new have some postcards. New cards. Yes. Show, do you have them with you? Oh. Um, yeah, I'll grab one. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. We'll get a booty shot. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and Ralph, where can every, anyone try to find you? You can find me anywhere on the planet that you'd like to. How about <laughs> that? Okay. Been around the world. Isn't that good? Oh, that's Honey, great. You can have it. Look at the, Oh, yeah, this is nice. nice. Yeah, Planet Eartha, everyone. Dara's made cards. Oh, you put us on. That have looks cards. great. Look, Planet she Eartha. She even included Ralph, but those were done last this month. This was before I got The fired. memo, right. I, you right. guys, this is my last show, but I don't care. No, but what's exciting <sighs> I don't is even fucking care. We have, <laughs> we, you know how The View tries out new co-hosts? Right. So we have two coming in today. Right. 
right. Celebrity no. blogger Nathaniel Oliver <laughs> Gray. Oh Jasper and has started. Harris Silas to the stars. Edward Jimenez. Jasper has started such a phenomenal. Uh, I want uh, Ralph to say Jimenez, not you. Okay. Say Jimenez. Uh, Jimenez. Okay. So, um, is it Yiddish? I, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. No, he Get has one of started. Wipes um, for the microphone over there. Okay. Oh, there you go. Jasper <laughs> has started a wonderful franchise here. So no matter franchise. who. who oh. So no matter who sits in, the show is always going to be wonderful. I've had a wonderful <laughs> three years. You sound uh, like Star with, Jones. I give him his close up right this now. Is Star with, Jones when totally she left. Should. Working with Jasper, it's been so much fun. And Dara has been nothing but lovely from day oh. one. Jasper, not so much. Thank you. But <laughs> we started out. But we, he likes Ronnie Butler Jr. better okay. at Man Chat. So apparently they pay him more. Okay, well, there. I was. Oh, paid. wow. It's like a bitch fight here. I know. And I'm not the bitch. Okay. Okay. But I love how Ronnie was our, a guest on our show how many times? And I haven't been invited once. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, no. Well, oh. I, but didn't, oh. but didn't you see the clip? That was the. That's, you said. I what, haven't gotten an invitation, but I'm not Jasper, gay. Jasper, didn't you want. You guys are all gay and just spur we want flying some, out of your mouth. We like having allegedly. Well, you're bisexual. So you can well, go right, on. Yeah, and we like having allegedly straight men on the or show, too. Or transgender. But listen, <laughs> that clip that I sent you, I asked you last night, <laughs> did you watch the clip I sent you? And you said, what did you say? I said, I mentioned us and the show, and I totally plugged the show, so you didn't even listen to it. You're such a liar. Why would I listen to it? Why would I listen to it? Because it's I his do, work. I do another radio show, and on that radio show, I was plugging our show on boomerang. the set with Jasper. Thank you. So I... To, I so anyway, I want to thank our sponsors, Tonsanton. everyone, because without <laughs> the sponsors, we would not have so a show. It, so so imagine that, that Productions, name. thank you. And he didn't even listen Tyrone to Tyrone Artworks <laughs> and so Wayman like, Productions. It's like a chorus. But, but I tell you one thing, night, can you mute her, please? He said, can you was, mute her? Seriously. This is, oh, so dear. this is how it's going to be when oh, we, when we have the when new he gets a termination so notice. Yeah, I did. no, seriously. So you're not. You're Nathaniel he actually just did not even listen to it. Oh, what, I'm sorry. And Ralph, while we were talking, Ralph, last what night, were you saying? I said to you, did you listen to the clip that I sent you? I did. Oh yeah, Ralph, I listened to it. I listened to it. Fun. I listened to well, it. he likes to relax in Palm Springs and not have any Hollywood stuff there. Oh, exactly. And you know, Ralph, the, the truth of the matter is, I like everything spontaneous on the show. I don't want to rehearse anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. Except for his muscles, he's been flexing all day. Oh, oh. we're gonna so put good. baby oil She's on it. So good for my ego. Yes, yeah, even look though at those the muscles. doctor told me I was one fifty four. <gasps> really? The, the scales are. Wrong. He's overweight. He's gonna go to weight. Wait, is that? That, that seems light for all those muscles. Thank it you. Should be one forty five. Oh well, that's right. Maybe the maybe the doctor's dyslexic. Well, no, you. I forgot you are two inches tall, so that would make sense. Okay. Your weight and height cut proportion. It, at, your weight and height. Wait, two inches no, taller. Fuck that it's my last show anyway. Who gives a shit? Wait, what? Oh, so God. thanks to Ralph, we have a returning guest, Nathaniel Oliver Gray. Little did Ralph know he'd be up to take his job. But you know, Ralph, that's what happens. One day you're in, and one day you're out. It's Welcome like, to no, Hollywood. It's like Project Runway. No, it's like. It's like oh, life. speaking of, thanks everyone for following. Under the Gun and my cousin Blake Smith, mm. who's kicking ass on the show. Oh, good. Yeah, he and he just announced he's showing at Fashion Week. Oh, nice. In September. So Where's we don't that? Know in L.A.? In New, New York. York. Oh, they just had Fashion Week. Well, this is in September. Oh, nice. So we don't know Can if he go? won. We still don't know if he won, but the fact that he's right. showing a line at Fashion Week, he must have done pretty well. Right. Yes. He's What's still, with the green donuts? A St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Coming up. When is that? I want to watch you eat all those. What about last time when you had like 17 cookies? Right. You're unbelievable. Those cookies were down. But I do cardio. Where the hell do you put them? I do cardio. No, there's not enough cardio for that. There's not enough cardio for that. You're just naturally thin. You have a tapeworm. I find most black people have a higher metabolism. But I'm not naturally thin. I was pudgy when I was growing up. My uncle used to call me fat boy. Well, Well, that's not nice. So that's why, yeah. Is he dead? Yeah, he did. That's what happened. That's what he got, right? That's mean. Karma. I loved him, but he always called me fat boy because I wheezed that's, that's, and I was overweight. I wasn't obese. Wait, you had asthma? Wait, you I wheezed. wheezed. Wheezed is like a precursor to asthma. It's like dementia before Alzheimer's. Oh, wow. Or Dara, when a really obese people can't walk. Right, they, right. They, they, like Gabby said. Like, you know, when you're hiking. They, oh, you know how, yeah. like when you're yeah. hiking and you're totally gasping and you can barely No, like, I don't have any problem. That would be me. You know, yeah, so. I have no yeah. problem with that. When you were talking to me before, you were get, totally ga- Oh. oh, you were gasping and panning for another reason. Okay, oh. Oh. this is awkward. No, no. this revelation wow. is awkward. Jasper doesn't do that. Mm-mm. Well, so listen, Ralph. We, Unless real estate, we were is gonna involved. since <laughs> since it is your. Well, that's the, <laughs> thank you. But since it's your last show, we're gonna introduce a new segment called the Facebook Patrol. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was Ralph's idea. So he's so you're stealing, <laughs> you're stealing his 
ideas and then and then bumping me him. off the show. Well, I don't care. Okay, Ralph. Here's wow, planets. that sounds familiar. That's very Hollywood. Planet. That Earth sounds familiar. Stealing people's Planet ideas. Earth. I got my paycheck, so it's fine. Listen, in fact, <laughs> while I, even while I'm on the air today, I should deposit this shit on my bank now, mobile, because the shit probably won't even clear. Okay, so I'm gonna do that but during Ralph, this fucking show. Okay. Consider. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Mm. Since the Facebook Patrol was your idea, let's based on how it goes today. <laughs> I may reconsider keeping you. Because the more I thought about it, Edward's Latino. Mm, Mm -hmm. It's better in Hollywood. Well, blacks, you need the the black quota. And you would. And Nathaniel's white, so he's going to be competing with you. Right. And you're all three gay. And you don't like that. I can't have that many gay uh, people. I know. It's not man chat. I can't have all gay people. Are man no. chat, they all gay? Yeah, we're so all gay. gay. Mm-hmm. Just sperm flies it out is. of their mouth. <laughs> <It is. laughs> oh, God, I know. Isn't Gross. he? Isn't he now? No, our show is, our log line is, it's like The View, but kind of gay. Okay, totally gay. And, right. so, and, and people, really, wa- okay. people watch The View. It's really... <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Bitter mean. party of zero. Well, I know. I think a lot of people are still watching The Forgotten, and you're probably getting good residuals from that. Just too. like your soloist, because I have, you fact, did like how many episodes? Wait, no, wait, wait no, how many episodes me, did you do of uh, Forgotten? Five, five or six. Ralph, no, how, how many Ralph episodes did you do of that show? I think it was five. Talented, but if you have not rented the soloist, Jasper with was Will actually Smith, on The Forgotten. You should see it. And then they did flashbacks. For Why four for weeks. Ralph in there? And Ralph so, plays a homeless guy. Mm, Actually, okay. Ralph just went out for a homeless guy this and, week or last. Yeah, and how did that? Or last out. week, and to quote you, and how did that work out for but, me? But I got him in for a homeless person. Yeah, he totally did. And as Jasper pointed out, which is you know, it's very real, um, it's very hurtful, and yet very <laughs> real. Is that you know what, Ralph? Um, the only thing really that really matters, matters is if you book it, right? So don't, don't call then, me with. They love me in the room, and it's just nice to get called in, and now I'm in the loop. Basically, how much am I making, and did you book it? Ouch. Meanwhile, Jasper will come home from an audition, and we'll be talking. Careful. And he'll be like- careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You know, there's on I'm air. I'm going to take a nap. There's on air, and there's off air. Okay. That bitch will be gone. <laughs> <Listen>. <laughs> I don't even care, Planet Earth, because it's my yes, last show. Yes, you do. I am well, wait, you're get, total- we're going to do the Facebook Patrol, and based on how that goes, you may stick around. Okay, well, this was actually a mutual idea. You're on probation? Yeah, I've, I've been on probation wow. since the show started. You've, you've always been in, like, Flynn, but you guys are really Not really. Friends. Really? We no, have so I, much dirt on each other. Dan no, I, I, could, I tell him all the time, if you ever want to shred me and get somebody younger <laughs> yeah, you closer, both, Yeah, you've always ahead. been like that. Yeah, see, and he hasn't yeah. gotten rid of you. Yeah, f- you. Well, I so, don't. Dara, Dara respects the host. Okay. She, do, she Facebook gives deference. Patrol. Yes. Okay. You know Ralph. how in society, okay. how like different uh, demographics or different people will make something their own, something that was dear to you, and now a whole other group of people have uh, have embraced it themselves. So it's no longer important to you. Like the word grateful. I used to be grateful for or gratitude so, or gratitude. Hashtag gratitude. Are you going to bring this in I'm, at some point? Yeah. He's getting there. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the lead up. It, it's, yeah. it's, this is the intro to the session. It's, it's the an hour up. and 50 minute show. So okay, I think go I ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm yeah. so sorry. 15 minutes in. Thank so, you, John. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it's the lead up. Go it's ahead. It's slow Ralph. going. <laughs> and it was a word that was very dear to me. Now, everyone is hashtag grateful. So it just lessens it. I, doesn't What's, it seem like if you're hashtag grateful that you're not really grateful? Because isn't gratitude really personal and you sort of keep it to yourself? Like your sex life, like your religion. Oh, I mean, Dara, perfect right? point and perfect if you're preach. It, preach. This is, I, I'm over it. No, Dara, you're exactly right. And this is what Jasper and I talked about. Those things you said, you used the operative word, personal. And that's why it's Jasper personal. was saying, you guys, stop using Facebook it's not a as your journal. And, you know, put in. And, and Unless grief. it's us doing it. And grief. I don't post grief. <laughs> right, you know, right. Then, well, right. Ralph doesn't like it. I told him if, you know, God forbid if anyone in his family dies. I think there's a, that. I think, I think if people know that person on Facebook, they that's different. If yeah, a lot of, you know, it's a personal thing for everyone. Like, I but would, what if I wanted to post something about someone that died in your life? I that would, would say be no. different. Yeah, I, I wouldn't would. ask you first of all. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, when my mom passed away in 2010, I went off Facebook because I was just so devastated. I didn't even want to. It seemed so. You went for me, but wait, Jasper, did you say you went all or went off? I went. I deactivated. Oh, oh. I totally. De- but my mother died suddenly. Jasper's mother died 
and they had known that she was dying, and his Facebook friends knew about it. So he did it was post a tribute. about it. It's a tribute. It. To he her. did it more as a tribute, but it that's wasn't trying to get attention on myself. Right. It was trying to put attention on her. So I think it's. I think it. I but think I mean, it's it, a case I, by case. I think it. It is a case by case because some people can post that you actually posted something that wasn't about an audition made it seem legitimate. Go. Wow. <clears throat> some people can post. At least post some of us get auditions mm. and, and not seem narcissistic, and, and other okay. people can post, and yeah. it just it seems really a bit hard. much. You <laughs> know what I mean? It just depends. I guess me, Ralph is yeah. really bitter. It's so sad. Yeah, yeah. bitter. Part but of if I were his age and not yeah. working, it would okay. be hard. Go yeah. ahead. You know what I mean? Some people can post stuff, and you <laughs> and you believe, and you in. It's this sweet, and then other right. people can post, and it's annoying. I have right. worked before. But, the, but that's when you need to I'll take a break again. from Facebook. Fine. Take a break. Take a break and just do something else that yeah. day. Cause then or not go on those people's pages that are annoying you. Because why you, are we getting annoyed with people that we don't even really know? Right, exactly. And then when you post grief stuff, then everybody's comments back. Then do you just write a generic answer back? Thank you for all your grief messages. Thank you. Or do you now spend the time while you're trying to convalesce and feel better about yourself answering people thank you but well, don't you think there should be other options besides like like can we unlike Dislike or can yeah. we you know well, you can unlike there, something once you there should be it. a why button there well some be, people like, will write why, i really mark. like this i wish there was a double click or something like that or, but what about depends. if you want to say why what like, about why a are you posting this i think there should be a gay button too what would that well mean? there's a gender button now oh there is what? yeah where they've they've it, They've not a gender button, but a gender. You know, when you put in what gender you are, there's more choices than male and female. Ralph knows that. Ralph, how do you how do you pick gender when you fill out gender? <laughs> male. <laughs> male. Male. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like you, Jasper. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. But Sometimes. I like I have a girlfriend on there who uh, posted that her dad passed away, and she put pictures, and I in, mean, it was right like when he passed away. So everybody's in the different. coffin. Well. Yeah, I mean, and wow. I do have another friend on there who she had pictures of the funeral and everything. Everybody's different. Oh, I saw that. I liked it and LOL'd it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I said good lighting. <laughs> wow. But I think we were talking our Everybody's biggest. Everybody's different. I, I, I don't think I, I, for me, I don't know. I, for me, I couldn't do it. And I didn't. Yeah, I mean, first of all, there's no judgment here, of course. Yes, there's total judgment. No, there's no judgment. Mm -hmm. We're just stating observations what are some of your pet peeves jasper about facebook posts well i don't like people who do these uh psycho babble posts like i have s some of these life coaches and people who put i can't there should be like a a decipher to it like do it and then break it down in english next to it because the other day somebody was like who the light of the world has shined through my internal being and i'm so excited that the moon I'm so excited that the moon is present. <laughs> Hashtag grateful. Now, what the fuck is that? I know. <laughs> I wrote I know. back and said, whatever you're on, I'd like to be Thank on you. it. Because what I is know. that? I wow. know. What wow. would you say? You say nothing. That's where you skip and go to the next person. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? And then the other day Keep I was saying, scrolling. somebody, we talked about someone put, I, I love myself so much that in, I'm very grateful other people love me. And I wrote back and said, and Jesus thinks you're an asshole. And they're trying like, to convince himself okay. that they love themselves. Right. Hash, you don't have to say you love allegedly. yourself if you love yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have to say, you don't have to do a bunch of selfies if you are if you think that it's, it, oh, please. Okay, don't well, get me does started. Does that transfer over like Twitter as well? Because you're more of a Twitter person. I'm more of a Twitter person. Um, but I don't like it when people on Twitter want, want to either fight or, um, you know, some people complain on Twitter like they're on Facebook, and I want to say you're on Twitter. Well, this some of us, our Facebook goes to Twitter. Right, right. So then, which you have is a annoying. But some people, double I woke up in Facebook. a bad mood. No, oh, well, who cares? No, that is annoying. We're talking about my Twitter doesn't. Have, my Twitter doesn't go on Facebook. But you always have double posts, like no. a, you know, like you'll like say you. Why are you stalking my page? I always you I every time I go on Facebook you're coming Why up are you first. Well, just annoying. unfriend me then. No, but I want my stuff. Bitch. No, cuz I want to see what's going on. But you know how like you'll post something on Twitter and it'll go to your Facebook thing so it'll be like see me in the purge. Then the next so one the, see me in the really, purge. I'm, you know, you know, so I do apologize. Like, this is why you don't understand. This is why he's up to for elimination. <laughs> in fact, why don't we have people why don't we have put it out to a vote? Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> we should do that. We should do that. That is totally fine cuz like I said planet Eartha um, my voice will always be heard. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, did you b- before we go any further? Did you want to talk about your ensemble today? What you're wearing? I, if you'd like me to, yeah, I guess it's, I it's I'm so wearing, gay. You're I would looking like you to very fierce. Thank you. I'm right. wearing a wrestling, it's very singlet, colorful, uh, from my days in wrestling, and um, some very colorful board shorts because it was 90 degrees on the way driving here today. Planet Eartha. Do you find black people sweat more? Um, <laughs> How would he know? How, yeah. what no, would he have to you compare said that to? to me one time, didn't you? I, you said something about I'm that. I'm always with white people, Jasper. So how would I know? But that? I'm trying yeah. to remind you <laughs> that you are not white. <laughs> I keep trying I to bring my African American fans into the conversation, <laughs> and Ralph's not helping. Oh, like Tyler and all of the all, like <laughs> right, because yeah, totally. like, that he hangs out yeah. with all the time. Oh, okay. Okay. TP. Wow. Right. Warrior, right. Work it Spike out. Jones. So or speaking Spike of Tyler, can we? But we're not going to talk Oscars until our guest arrives. Okay. Well, let's talk some entertainment dish. Okay. What's in the news? What's in the news? Well, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is the finale's Monday. Wow. And Lisa. Everyone's ganged up on Lisa. Everybody's ganging up on Lisa, and Yolanda and Brandy have formed an alliance, and which this is, is really like Mean Girls in high it's school. It's totally right? Mean Girls. And then I had heard that Carlton and Joyce are not going to be asked back, but it's not been confirmed. Wow. And um, the one she's kind of scary. Carlton, the, the Wiccan. I I don't know why first season she has to go into all of her sex tricks and her. It's, do you think it that's real weird. or is she just? Exaggerated? I don't know. It didn't do her any good. <clears throat> no. So the finale is Monday, and then there's a three part reunion. Three part. Three parts. That means they pulled hair and everything. That means, but you wow. know what happens is they repeat a lot of the same stuff on those reunions. Right. So you'll watch the first part, and then the second part will almost rehash 15 minutes of the first into the second. John, do you watch the Beverly Hills? He Housewives? was shaking his head over there, like, okay. For the Beverly Hills? No, no, but I do watch the Mob Wives. Okay, the Mob Wives. Yes, yes. yes. Dara and I tried that. We watched that the first season. They weren't pretty enough. She, Dara likes pretty too. I want pretty. They are thin. Most of them are thin. I do like that they've all had body tucks and body lifts. That whatever. is just crazy. Does <laughs> it even make a difference? <coughs> JW, I, I was getting the same Pardon thing. Me, I'm getting I a know. little. Conf- I know. I know. I've it's got the allergies. Room. It's going back and forth. For, as I've said, from Palm Springs. To I know it's rough. <laughs> from I don't here, know how you do it. it's yeah. very difficult. And your penthouse in To change, in New York. Right. To change right. the climates, right. or whatever. Right. But um, so yeah, you're like so, a flight attendant going from different kind of time zones. Can you imagine weather. if he was a flight attendant? Okay, do you want he me would to smash food in no, people's can faces? No, we? You want to go back to the very beginning? I was actually hired by Piedmont Airlines. Who? Piedmont? Do you okay. remember Piedmont? I remember Piedmont. No. They were bought out by... This was, uh, I had this ludicrous idea when I was like 19 that I could somehow get a job as a flight attendant, which would get me to L.A. Like I could fly back and forth to L.A. Well, so, that would be true at times. But they wanted to base me in Greenville, South Carolina. To start with. You have to work your way up, Jasper. But I, I interviewed with America and Delta. These, right. These Couldn't were your like, sister-in-law help you? She helped me get an interview with Delta. Okay. But these were like beauty pageants. You had to go into the room and they ask you questions about, you know, world peace and stuff like that. World peace. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, Ralph, I actually was hired mm-hmm. by Piedmont Airlines. And what happened? Well, I decided not to do it because I didn't want to live in Greenville, South Carolina. Mm. I was trying to get out here. Right. Right. So anyway. Okay. Wow. Thanks, bitch. Where are um, we? Which one? Me or him? No, no. Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> You're the Duchess. <laughs> so, yes, the Beverly Hills finale is Monday. And then the New Jersey Housewife, which I do not watch anymore wow. because it's just too trashy and gross. Um, Teresa Giudici. Don't they change the pronunciation I, of her name? She's going to be a jailbird, seasons. whatever. Her and her husband committed, I think, almost 200 counts of fraud. Well, they plea- the, the she- weird thing was they were initially denying it, oh, but yeah. they took a plea deal. Right. But here's my theory, right. which I love. If it's true, knowing Andy Cohen, they just they worked out some kind of deal because, you know, they're going to film. They're filming it. All of this is being filmed right now. But do you think he likes this? Oh, Can you mention what the ratings are to watch her under house arrest? A lot of people think she's going to get house arrest where she has to stay in the house and Joe's going to get sentenced. But where do you draw the line of the scum that you have on your, you know? But would you not watch this? Can you imagine her under house arrest? No, I won't. They're gross. Oh, I will. I'll be watching that. They're they're just gross. Well, that happened on the the mob wives, too. Um, Someone got uh, a house arrest. Well, she might be getting it. That's okay. that's where which they left one? it on the cliffhanger um, on the last season of the Mob Wives. So which, it's which one? a new one got oh. introduced. Yeah, and um, well, that's the thing about is anyone surprised with these Jersey people? But here's the thing that's interesting. Oh, let's not, let's, this there's w- a nice there's some nice Jersey well, but people. The way they Heidi are. Spound is from Jersey. 
Yeah, but she left and had sense enough to get out. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea Handler did too. But, you know, these charges go back to the year before she started on the show. It's from 2001 to 2008. They didn't do anything after that. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Yeah. So they forged documents and stuff before she started making money on the housewives. Crazy. Well, at least she's cop to it, right? Finally. I don't think they had a choice. They were looking at 50 years in prison. Oh, my God. And he may be deport- deported. So I just have a theory that Andy's going to Where is film- he going to deport? <clears throat> Italy? Italy. He's not a citizen. He's Italian? He's- like, true Italian. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's lived wow. here this whole time, but he's not a citizen. So if you- apparently, if you are a convicted felon, you well, can be- Well, that government is kind of whacked out, so maybe they'll accept him. Yeah. Yes. So that's a good one. Yes. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> and then I've been watching American Idol, and I think it's just- Kind oh. of had its time in the oh, sun. I, it needs to go. I, lo- I, lo- I love uh, Harry Connick this season. I do love Harry Connick, but, you know, it's kind of like the show's sort of, it's sort I of d- over. I didn't, I agree. I think that they keep saying they think they've picked the greatest group of talent. I they actually, say that every oh, year. Oh, no. But this no. year seems no. kind of sh- no. not. And I mean, you know, I've been a fan from season one. Yeah, I only started watching when J-Lo was on. Yeah, she's okay. pretty. It is. See, yeah. I like pretty. She's great on there. It's <laughs> mm-hmm. the best thing she's ever yes. done. But yes. Harry Connick has sort of added a nice touch to it as right, well. Right, right. But yeah, I don't feel they're the singers. And JW's a singer. Yeah. I, I don't know that they're great. I mean, I'm trying to think. Well, of they one. say every year that they find the best talent. Well, every yeah. Every year. Right. You know. But even last year, Candace Glover was really talented. And you and know what? That got overshadowed, though, by the two female judges always fighting. Nicki Minaj her, and Mariah. Her winning Mariah. time. Mariah was so boring. Yeah, that Mariah's just, interesting. She always seems to be um, on air complaining about Nick Cannon being gone all the time. Well, she's just... But if he was with her all the time and not working, then she'd probably try and run his life because it's her money. Right. Right? He Although needs to Nick have his own has quite an empire himself. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize he, he's right. done quite well. Interesting. Has, yeah. But yeah, so I'm actually, I'm watching it, but I agree. I'm watching right. it more for the judges. I yes. think this will be the last year, or at least It's hope. kind of, well, thank God yeah. they got rid of the X Factor yeah. and Simon Cowell. Oh, right, yeah. right. I can't believe that. That was past. beating a dead horse for so <laughs> right, many years. Right, right. Well, mean, if you can get some, you know, juice out of it, then Well, if then you can screw will. your best friend's wife and have a baby with her. Right, right. And then move That's on. That's interesting. So. Yeah. <clears throat> what else, Miss Zane Scully? Thank you. Robin Thicke and Paula Patton splitting oh, wow. up. We all saw this coming. From high school sweethearts. From high school sweethearts. <laughs> you know, she's got an interesting smile that just seems inauthentic mm-hmm. to me all the time. Well, she's very lucky. You know, she came because she's with him and that family. She went from like high school, never acted, straight to William Morris and okay. and started working. What does there she was, do? Well, she's she been a in singer? Some big, no, she's an actress. Okay. She was in the to- the big Mission Impossible and right. Precious and There's just something inauthentic about her smile. That's the only way I can say right. it. Nicely. I yeah. can say other things. But apparently he's trying to woo her back. But apparently he has stopped saying things at concerts. You don't tell your concert people. This is what we talked about sharing too much. You're going to tell all your fans I'm trying to win back my wife. I think it's just all BS. Yeah, he did that at a recent concert. Yes. He announced he was trying to get back. But you figured they've been together 20-something years right. or more. I don't know. Right. How old are they? In their 30s? It late sounds 30s? Sounds about right. <clears throat> and, you know, he has Alan Thicke as his dad. Right, Gloria who's Loring. kind of a pig. And Gloria Alan Loring Thicke. is Alan's a Alan's a pig? Yeah, I think so. Younger women. Is he show? Oh, show He's married to a younger woman now. Yeah. But, hey, I mean, who isn't? I was married to a younger woman once. What you happened were? to her? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> uh, we. How uh, was James? It was no. <laughs> <laughs> James. Hey, James. How are you? <laughs> and then uh, let's see what else. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. Have a some tempura. <laughs> yeah. On my. No, that's a whole other story. Have some. We're not going to get. In, I'm not going to get into Ralph's past because I would never do that. Although he's just slammed me four times on the show today. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Payback is hell, right? <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> right. So anything else, Dara? <laughs> No, because we're going to wait on the Oscars for Nathaniel. Yes, yes. So our whole show today uh, is the Oscar and the entire award season wrap. Up. Did you watch the Oscars, Ralph? Mm-hmm. Okay, we all watched it. Yes. Right. So I think we're going to take our first break, and when we come back, we're going to be joined by celebrity blogger and a friend of Ralph's, a friend of the show. He's returning, Mr. Nathaniel Oliver Gray. And uh, anything else? No. No. This has been a fun half hour. Is Nathaniel here yet, John? Did you get a message? No message yet. Okay. Okay. Well, he but may I do have a call trying to come through. Oh wait, let's oh, take a call. Let's take oh, a God, call. Maybe it's, it's probably him canceling. Maybe it's Kelsey. 
Oh, wait, she's calling now. This is Kelsey Scott, everybody, oh. from 12 Years a Slave. Hi, Kelsey. This- how are you? Hello, hello. Yay. Welcome to On the Set with Jasper Cole. Is that applause? Yes, absolutely. Um, Kelsey, that is so nice of you to respond so quickly to my text. I don't know if you knew I do another radio show. Oh, oh my God, wow. Kelsey. And I Here st- we go. I started on this show with Jasper two and a half years right. ago. And... Um, that, but I wanted Kelsey to know that so she would know where she was calling. That, so it wasn't just some like arbitrary well, she was number. was on man chat, bitch. Don't you? I know, but she <laughs> but she didn't know that I had this show too because I wanted her to call. You know. Ralph, anyway, come Kelsey, on, seriously. When I was telling Jasper the story about sorry, Kelsey, go ahead. I, Kelsey, I was I was sharing with Jasper how wonderful you were on our show, Man Chat, and you were recounting you you, you regaled us with so many great stories about the Oscars, but one in particular about the two separate red carpet. And Mm -hmm. I wanted you uh, to talk to Planet Eartha and to all of us. Because Ralph and I know we know we would be on the other carpet. So we were like (laughs) we were like so horrified and excited at the same time. But first of all, congratulations on on your part. You were wonderful in the movie. Thank you very much. Very powerful movie in general. But, I, you know, you were great. And Ralph has filled me in. I mean, I did. He doesn't believe it, but I did listen to Man Chat. So I do know a lot of your the history of how you got the part and the whole journey that you've taken, which is phenomenal. Um, so anyway. Yeah. So we were fascinated by the by the red carpet story because um, I had, like I've been around forever and I had never heard that. So well, yeah, did you did you know that in the middle? Oh my God! <laughs> what she yeah, said? Well, it's first you have to kind of go. There's some twists and turns before you're actually on like the red carpet. Like everything's red when you get out of the car. Like it, wow. it starts off red, but that's not the red carpet. <laughs> but <laughs> after you kind of uh, you know turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, and then pass security, then the huge expanse of red carpet is in front of you, and it's a little oh, intimidating. Wow. I was, and I was there. You know those people who get to the party really early? Oh, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. I (laughs) was afraid there was going to be a lot of traffic. And, you know, of course, I didn't want to be late. And and I'd heard that you have to arrive hours beforehand. So that was me. Listen, listen, Kelsey. Not only was it a huge red carpet, it was virtually empty when I got there. (laughs) No, Kelsey, seriously, I'm at the point. My publicist, any event I go to, I know I have. If they say it starts at 7, I'm there at 645. Because it's like, I know... My publicist was like, okay, Jasper, if you want anybody to talk to you, get there early. <laughs> listen, Kelsey, and listen, <laughs> Kelsey, because you know I'm just completely rude, and I did it to you on Man Chat. You know I have to say, well, girl, of course you came early because you couldn't risk being in 12 Years a Slave showing up late. Okay, girl. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph's one that, yeah, Ralph is, I'm actually, right. Ralph is usually punctual, very punctual, which is yeah. surprising. But he doesn't, <laughs> Kelsey, he doesn't know he's black, but that's a whole <laughs> other story. Wow. Right. Kelsey, that sounds yeah. like a whole other show by itself. Oh, yes, Kelsey, right. it totally is. You can see the two different tones of shows that I work on. Okay. <laughs> we, yes, I, I, well, I'm getting the clue. Ronnie has been on this show. We love Ronnie. Yeah, Ronnie has been yeah. a uh, co-host on the show, too. But back to you, Kelsey. So you got there. You see the wide expanse of red carpet. Go. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so there are there literally are two sides. So for the people who are doing the press, you know, going to each individual outlet and that sort of thing like that, there's someone that escorts them down the red carpet. So, um, and then the other side is really because there's so many, I mean, you think that everybody at the Oscars are all celebrities and stars, but there's everybody else who works in the industry. So from, from advertising to members of the Academy themselves, I mean, they're administrative, like there's, you know, there's quite a few people in the theater. And so not all of them are going to be talking to entertainment tonight. And so those folks kind of walk on the other side and they take in all of the revelry and have beautiful dresses that are not necessarily doing the press. So the demarcation is this this barrier <laughs> down the <laughs> middle of the carpet. So I if you go this. left, you're doing press. If you go right, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, when you go right, do they take your photos? Or is there anybody there? They, <laughs> they can if they want to. I mean, they're I mean they're on 
the photographers and the uh, and the cameramen and the reporters and that sort of thing like that, they're they're on the sidelines of the right, uh, excuse me, of the left side of the carpet. So you know, I'm sure they have telephoto lenses. They could take your picture if they wanted to, but right. it's, it's a lot simpler if you're closer to them. In fact, it's interesting because I was going down the carpet and I waited a bit. I don't to tell the truth. I was a little. <laughs> it was really, really long and really red. So even though I got there, I didn't immediately walk it because then on the right hand, on the right hand side. Um, opposite the press are the fan stands. Right. So there's somebody in the crowd warming them up and getting them all excited. And so you're walking like right in front of them. So they have no idea who you are. They're just, you walk by and it's just like crickets. Oh my God. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> like they have their camera phones out. They're not sure whether or not they should take your picture. Like, I don't know. I don't like, oh, wait, who's sure. that? Oh, wait, I don't know. Who is that? Yeah. So they're watching you. So it's just like you're just kind of walking down a long carpet. And people are just watching. You're not sure what to do. That was a, that's my experience, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's right. Now, <laughs> that's you, you were but there. I do remember I was walking down on the other side, and there was a photographer on the opposite side of the carpet. Uh, and I don't know, maybe he just liked my dress. Not sure. So he was waving, like, "Come over here." And I'm like, "Well, once was a hop and divider." I'm not. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> over there. I was like, "I'm gonna need you to change lenses and make this happen." Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But it was uh, it was great. <laughs> I oh, love that it. sounds great. But so I mean, th- it, it was overwhelming. I'm sure the whole experience was wonderful. Like you said, it's so much more expansive when you get there. It's probably mm-hmm. overwhelming at first. Yes. Yeah. And did you sit with your uh, movie mates? Uh, no, I didn't. Inside, I did not. And I arrived separately from the people that I was uh, I was there with. So I, it was really just me in the car. <laughs> So uh, there were a couple of people that were coming in around the same time. So I um, I made very fast friends and hung out with them on the wow. carpet. So I didn't have to walk it by myself. And so by the time we got inside, we were you know trading childhood stories. We were you know. Well, people. now that I think about it, Kelsey, um, how come you didn't have your publicist go with you? You know, I just didn't do that route. I see. Um, I probably should have, and uh, you know, knock on wood, if I get back on that carpet, then I'll do things a little differently. Differently, but okay. No, come around, I just flew solo. No, no, that it's a very well. Honest sometimes answer. also, I mean, everyone has to be credentialed, right? So sometimes publicists, yes. they 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 may not may or may not even get credentialed. It just mm-hmm. it's so political. I mean, it's so uh, hit and miss. It definitely know. is. Did yeah. you have yeah. a good? The, did you have a good time? From I'm sorry, what now? Did you have a good time there? I had an amazing time. I can There's imagine. Just nothing like it. You can't compare it to anything in your life. It is its own entity. And it well, was, it's a dress rehearsal. It like It's your dress rehearsal for when you go back the next time. Maybe as I a like nominee. I like you think. Absolutely. I like it. Oh, God, Kelsey. And you, <laughs> Let's and, tell everybody who we're talking to. Give her full name and what who she, wa- who she was in the movie and what uh, movie. Kelsey, do you want to introduce yourself or do you want me to do it? Uh, hi. No, go ahead. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Planet Eartha, we're speaking with Kelsey Scott, actress from a Academy Award winning best film, 12 Years a Slave. Uh, Kelsey plays Ann Northrup in the film, and she is exquisite in the film. Um, and on our other show, we had discussed with Kelsey her journey getting this very commendable role and maybe if Kelsey has a few minutes she might speak on yes. that and also um, if you feel like sharing this Kelsey Kel- <clears throat> this is the, th- the thing Planet Earth and Jasper has always been supportive about this kind of thing she has a lot of chutzpah mm-hmm. and the way she got the part the way she got invited to parties the way she got herself to the oscars and then where she was seated it was so great because it's a little because ronnie was asking her so when the movie got one you had a little bit of a trek to get from she, your seat down she to the left stage. over people ronnie kelsey she was like hit that floor she, running uh, uh, do she you want to quite a leap <laughs> <laughs> But I did. I did position myself strategically. I you love know, it. I love it. Like like a few minutes before the uh-huh. category, Kelsey, like a, who's she sitting like with? The she track like, race. You guys, back. listen. I may or may not be back. Okay. Right. So I might tell that later. seat filler to move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Kelsey, since you're here, we have a few more minutes. Do you want to tell people briefly how you got your how you got how did you get this part in the Academy Award winning movie? Uh, sure. I originally put myself on tape for casting because um, it was filming in New Orleans and, and I live in Los Angeles. And so I put myself on tape and then that was submitted. And then I got a call back and the call back was live in New Orleans with Stephen Queen. And 
went to New Orleans for the call back and was uh, headed back out of town because I had a commitment uh, for a staged reading in L.A. the next day or rehearsal the next day and then the performance the day after that. And I was, uh, I don't know, yeah, well, I was actually on my way to the airport, and my agent called and said, turn around, they wanted me to read for a different role. Wow. Um, and so I went back, and they wanted me to stay in town to kind of go over the sides so that I'd be able to prepare, but I couldn't, because I had this commitment right. the next day. So instead, I went to a coffee shop for a couple of hours and went over the parts and came back and put that on tape and turned right around and went to the airport and... Um, headed into these, uh, the rehearsal for the reading, did the reading, and then I hopped on the road because I was driving cross-country to do a play in Atlanta. Oh, my God. And I got the news about halfway across the country that I got the movie. Uh-huh. So I got to Atlanta, dropped my bags, drove to New Orleans, shot the film, drove back to Atlanta, and started rehearsals for the play. Look at oh, you. My <laughs> now, wow. let, let me ask you, so at the time, w- w- did, w- did you have the, did your agent get you the original put on tape? Was that with for John Jackson, the casting director, or? Uh, no, no, no. That was for Megan Lewis out in, in New Orleans. So I have, of, I have a couple of agents, and so this was my New Orleans agent. Oh, okay. Got, got it. There's so much mm-hmm. being shot down there. That's why a girlfriend of mine, yes, she actually absolutely. just just got a, an agent out of Atlanta who also covers, mm-hmm. you know, Louisiana as well. And then yeah, she, I'm here. I'm here right now shooting. Actually, I'm in New Orleans right now. I was Gosh. about to say, aren't you doing NCIS? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Tell With us, CCH Pounder. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Well, well, what's your? How was your journey for this role? Because you you announced that at the end of our show, so we didn't get to talk about it on air. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph's your public. It. He'll just well, be your. Everything. Like I said, I have I have representation out here, and so um, I put myself on tape for this role, and and it, it went well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, That's clearly. Great. And can you tell us? Uh, can you she tell? She does Plan- writing too. I just looked on her website. She's oh, a writer too. Oh, she's a hyphenate. She's like all of us here. Right, okay. You know, she is an actress, a writer, a producer, and a director. Because I met Kelsey. I told you with doing Ronnie Butler's photographs of your job, right? Where she was being a production assistant that right. day, and wow. she also participated. But she was really being a PA that day. And Kelsey and I hit it off so well. Oh, and by the way, Kelsey, this is a total tangent. One second, Planet Earth. Oh my God. I, girl, I think I'm going to get the Samsung Galaxy. S4. That's what I'm looking at now. Are you? You're gonna, you're gonna go Galaxy? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Should do... we thank Ellen DeGeneres for that? Oh, why did she? <laughs> that was one of the big sponsors. Oh, is that the phone that she That's took the selfie, selfie on? Right. Okay, because <clears throat> anyway, I just because Kelsey, everybody. So the reason why I'm doing that with Kelsey is she is the one who got me from AOL to Gmail. She was the one who said, wow. "You are a dinosaur. <laughs> you have got to leave that right now." Thank you. And then thank she you, said, Kelsey. "And you really need to be changing up that phone." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. stay current. You know, because Kelsey. She's seen your outfit. She's been yet. waiting. <laughs> she's been, Kelsey, we'll, we'll send she's you been the, waiting to find out what phone you're going to get. We'll send you the yes. video when this is on YouTube because Ralph is in quite an ensemble today. So I just thought uh, okay. I'd Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. This will be fun. I, <laughs> but at some point when the when the show gets posted, then I'll find I'll timestamp it for you, Kelsey, so you can hear the part with you on it. But, oh, well, okay. listen, congra- you. congrats on. Oh, yeah. Congrats on, on, the, uh, on the show. Are you there all week uh, this week working? Uh, just a couple of days. Couple so I of days. My, um, I, I'm already wrapped for today, and then I shoot tomorrow. And oh, you shot today? Day. Wow, on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Great. Oh, God, Kelsey, this is so great how this technology works. Thank you. Thank you for Yeah, thank you do, for calling We'd love in. to have you come in live when you're yeah. back yes. in, in the studio. This, sure. this show I'd we do. Okay, this show we do once a month. So we do, it's okay. usually the first Sunday of each month. We're the second because of the awards, because <laughs> your movie won because last week. Because of you. Because of you. We like close on the week. <laughs> and so, yeah, we're the, <laughs> so we're the first Sunday. So whenever you're free, if you're not putting yourself on tape and then flying there, then um, why don't you? He come says up? with pure enthusiasm. Is it, and no, no, Kelsey right. and I are very. No, very Kelsey, I have to tell you, Ralph, I've known Ralph for only four years, but he has talked highly about you long before Twelve Years of a Slave. So I've I've heard about you. So he's not, you know, it didn't just happen because you're in the best picture of the year. <laughs> <laughs> he's always really I spoke know, highly right. of you. He's like, hey. Everybody, I know Kelsey Scott. It's like, mm, luckily, Kelsey and I have been organic no, for uh, several has, years yes. now. Yes, Absolutely. we have. Yes, we have. Yes. So well, we're is, happy for you and your experience. That's really amazing. And for all the things that will be happening in your future. Are you? Are, do you have a website? Or is there any she place does. people can? She does. Can find Kelsey you? Kelsey Scott. Dot com. 
I think so. I just looked it oh, up. Oh, well, that's yeah. easy. Yeah, Kelsey Kelsey Scott. And my Twitter handle is, is Ms. Kelsey Scott, M.S. Kelsey Scott. Okay, oh, and we're, perfect. And just Planet Earth, this is a horrible joke because um, Ronnie kept calling her Chelsea oh. on the show. So, the, oh. so our big joke now is Chelsea. It's Chelsea with it's a K. good to talk to you, <laughs> Chelsea. Yeah, no, we, we got it right over here at yeah. All the Set with Jasper. <laughs> we got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Not as like good as a competition, but you will No, okay. not we're at all. Touche. Listen, listen. Um, Kelsey, you were fierce because... Oh, girl, I drove from here to there and I shot, I did a play, I was in a stage Yeah, reading. but you know what, that's good. Nobody I, wants princess and divas. Oh, they want people that no. are going to work hard. I know, and Kelsey is so real like that. And now listen to you, it's like, oh, I I just finished rapping for today. I have to call into a radio show. Oh, will I ever she's get not, new? She's not breathing heavy, no. you are. I know. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph <laughs> got some hot wings. He got some hot wings and drove to Sunset Gower Studios. Yeah, so. Ra- Ralph took some Adderall before he showed up. Wow. Wow, That's why he's thin. Wow. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking the time. Congrats on everything. And like I said, thank I look forward you. to uh, meeting you live in person one day soon. Have fun Absolutely. with the rest of your shoot with NCIS I New Orleans. Will. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Kelsey. Take care. Yay. See ya. Yay. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you for hooking that up, Ralph. Jasper, you're so welcome. Okay, between the Facebook posts and now getting her on, I think... I think He's not terminated. I think we'll keep him for a little while. Yay. Thank Yay. God. Because John just... Because um, I was going to protest. Oh, thank you. John just texted me that four people called in and said, if Ralph is not on the show, right. then there is no was show. Was that the NAACP? The, <laughs> the NAACP? <laughs> the switchboard was lit up. I mean, it was just... <laughs> yeah. Once you said that, it was just overwhelming. Support. I about crashed my system. Well, now it's listen, like, guys. It's like Ellen Selfie. But yeah. listen, <laughs> Ralph, but Ralph, it's a little awkward because what do we, you know, the guys are coming in thinking Let's that they're... They're in the green room, they're, actually. They think, they think they're, they're, they yeah. think they're auditioning to replace <sighs> you, you for co Are we going to have Edward and Nathaniel in together, or do you want to stagger them? Separate. Are they here together? They are both in the green room. We should have them both come in. Okay, great. Since they're not going to get the job. Okay. So you know what? I'll just let them know after the break. Are we taking a break? We're going to take a break. Dara's got to pee. (laughs) And I already, I can tell. I know what it's all about. I got you. I really don't. Yes, you do. Why? I just need a break. Let's see if she goes to the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you've been listening to On the Set with Jasper Cole, and we will be right back. Bye-bye. Come back. You're back on the set with Hollywood's bad guy, Jasper Cole. Here's Jasper Cole. Ooh, all right. Is this thing on? There, howdy, howdy. Somebody hit something. Anyway, welcome <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to On the Set with Jasper Cole. This is your host, Jasper Cole, and we are in hour two, almost, of our Oscar award season roundup show on this uh, Sunday at Sunset Gower Studios. I'm joined. The room is packed. Yes. I mean, it's just the yes, energy is just is. yeah. So welcome. All these men and me. Right. Wow. All this estrogen. I mean, you're always the only woman <laughs> at home and here. At right? home and at work. When when my sister doesn't come. <laughs> oh hey oh shout <laughs> hey, out to Wendy. Wendy. That, hey girl. So let let me properly introduce uh, my co-host. S with the most, all the way from Orange County, Dara Zane Scully. Woo, yes. Welcome back. Work it out, hello, Dara. Hello, hello. Go, Dara. Now, go, Dara. And just so you know, she did not go to the bathroom, right? She did. Oh, you did? <laughs> she did. Oh, I thought I figured you I would take your I cue. thought you didn't have to go. I didn't have to go, and I felt but it. I thought, well, let me just try. You know how some women are on the period at the same time? I felt like I sensed that you had to go. Because there was this. There was well, a you thing and Dara are both on I the same cycle. I haven't introduced cycles. you, Ralph. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Wow. Wow. He just Ouch. saved it. He kept his job in the first segment. Ouch. And this no. is why I, human resources. I think you need to pay him more if this you're going to abuse him because he's going to need therapy. Okay. He got <laughs> Planet Earth. Uh, he, <laughs> I need therapy. Ralph got written I'm up. I'm getting out of the line of fire. Uh, Ralph got written up by human resources. Last time. <laughs> and it got a little dicey because he called the NAACP oh, and it was just you know, like, it's oh, this whole oh, thing. Wow. You know, so. But. He's now that there. now that he saved his job in the last segment, please welcome back my way too gay sidekick, Miss Ralph Cole Jr. Hello, oh, Planet oh, Eartha. Hi, Thank you. Listen, Planet Eartha, I want you to see the card that Dara made for us. We showed them. Yeah, yeah. So that's fabulous. my camera, Ralph. I know that I'm using it. Thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Only Ralph could do that. I noticed okay. you have it to your picture, uh, but you know that, that's Dara's card. If you notice, her picture's on the front. 
Right, right. I and I now have them in a two shot, so it's going to be two together. Oh, so oh cool. thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 there you wow. go. Yeah. Oh, wow. We had to do that to squeeze everybody we together. I love it. It's like Cindy. We're in a two shot. You're in a two shot, too. <laughs> Ebony and I. You look like Cindy Crawford. Sonny and Cher. Cindy Crawford Uh-oh. and her maid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you'd be Cindy Crawford. So I'll be Cindy Crawford. And the help. The help, like too. Oh, <laughs> wow. Girl, go get me some watermelon, okay? Ooh, you know yeah. why I like it. I okay. do. Wow. With seeds. Okay. <laughs> why, wow. does the, why does the card say, have you seen these people? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, that Thank voice you. that you just heard. Keep it going. Go ahead, Ralph. Uh, the voice that you just heard is a return guest to uh, On the Set with Jasper Cole. Because he, he knew he, how to behave the first okay, time. Okay. He, he <laughs> is wow. a celebrity blogger extraordinaire. You uh, read him online daily with Frontiers, and it's also in the printed version. Now you were just telling me. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a, a television uh, a piece now for the week for the, for the weekly version. Television piece starting with the next issue, so online and in printed form. Yay. Okay, Yay. that's Nathaniel Yay. Oliver Gray. Gray. Let's Woo. give a big hand. Yeah. Yeah. Work it out. Nathaniel, welcome back. Thank you for having me. We kind of turned the room around since you were here last time. It faced the other way. Yeah, yeah it was a little different. Yeah, we sat all the way around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. So welcome back. Congrats Thank on you. the blog and everything you have going on. Thank you so much. You're very tireless and you're very in the know. I love your blog. He's very in the know. Very in the know. <laughs> I, I do. Love I love you too. He I, could replace me anytime. No. no, you can't. You're irreplaceable. Well, Uh-oh. with estrogen shots. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> no, the thing that's you're great prettier. about your blog is that it's right to the point. And it's timely, fun information. Like yes. everything is just now. You're. It's like boom. It's good bam, for bam. us ADD people. Right. Because <laughs> I use colors. Seriously. <laughs> exactly. Draw us in. But who actually writes the column? Uh, uh, you have it, a ghostwriter. It depends on which uh, meds I'm on. But, <laughs> <laughs> right. but you, but you wear the face well. So you're Thanks. the face of your blog, which is important. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's all me. Yeah. Okay, excellent. And Thank continue you. on. We have another returning guest. Another yes. return guest from the uh, showbiz the- theatrical industry. And Chico <laughs> Prison. <Okay. laughs> I am so sorry. I missed. I wow. mixed. I got a little confused I was there. Only, wow. I was only born there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Visitation that, only. That yes. very <laughs> deep voice that you heard is our returning guest, Edward Jimenez. Ooh, celebrity yeah. hairstylist. Yes, work it Hairstylist out. to the stars. And the wannabes and the never will be. By the way, I need color. It's yeah. been oh, yeah. the wannabes. I would never mention it. You know that. And that's also, it. let's say hi to Brian. Brian, Stan- Brian Stanley. He's right. I don't, he's here as well. Edward. <laughs> Wouldn't be here without him. He is our in-house photographer. So listen, Planet Eartha, we're doing great. Jasper uh, really orchestrated a great show because you heard in the last uh, segment uh, Kelsey Scott from 12 Years a Slave, and now we have Nathaniel here and Edward here to keep it all going about this whole Oscar buzz. This is like a Benetton ad. We've got Latino, Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know that. Whatever she is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And he didn't mean me. Well, yeah. okay, yeah. It's That's scary. A, a Jewess. Why are you so mean to Ralph? And a, yeah. a Cherokee I have Indian. An issue with this you know, people I have love act- Ralph. P- people have actually called in and written like, why really? does he say stuff really? like that to you? Right. That but I nobody, said, nobody's but even I listening said, to it's this. It's the name of the... Right, you're just playing. Yeah, it's his yes. name. It's, his name is on the show, so which right. can easily be on the set with and the And J.W., Coles. welcome back as well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Our he producer engineer. The other engineer. John Williams. The, okay, so the cat we, wrangler this, here. Yeah, so this whole hour, <laughs> the cat... You know I do love pussy. Okay. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Everyone knows Hollywood's bad guy likes a good pussy. Yeah. Good right. You'll do, any, you'll do anything for I a love, paycheck. I love, <laughs> I love all we hear is, ew. ew. Oh. oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. How quickly they turned, can right? I, can I have another bottle of water? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 threw, I threw up a little. Just a little. Oh, oh well, God. if it stinks, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. No, that, we did you are see? crazy. Okay. No, there was a housewife cat fight about pussy did you know that on which show well beverly hills oh miss beverly hills brandy glanville said that joanna krupa from miami (laughs) screwed around with muhammad and that's why muhammad and yolanda split up and that joanna has a stinky you know what which she does not okay i was right edward i forgot to ask her last time yeah no (laughs) (laughs) well well if you didn't ask then you didn't that's kind of okay that's, (laughs) that's that's i think that's a one of the Top five low blows you can do from woman to woman. Yeah. Either critique her phys- physique 
or that she stinks yeah. in her feminine areas, <laughs> okay. right? Yeah. See, yes. Planet Earth, you get all kinds of information here. Yes. We've gone from 12 years of slave, the, right. the red carpet, to vaginal, right. vaginal odors. And you know what? It's funny. Speaking of vaginas, why I are there all it. these feminine, you know, make it smell pretty commercials? There's never anything like that You better that for see penises. a doctor if something's that well, bad. Well, it's oh, like you don't need is, to flesh it out. It's coming soon. And, well, isn't there that commercial for... What is it to um, it, to to it, wash your their region? The, I mean, yeah. what about ball washing? Well, I mean, I know, balls you know would what? need some okay, washing. Let's, if we're going to go into that, why are we asking thing? Edward though? Real, <laughs> right, <laughs> realistic. Well, he is a hairdresser oh, to right, the stars. Right. Right. Well, asking, yes, <laughs> no, but, uh, exactly. Because he's done a few vaginal who, perms. Who do you think on the red carpet had a stinky <laughs> pussy? Which one? Is the question. Scary. Yeah, who had the stinkiest vagina? Oh, whoops. Ellen. What? John Travolta. Oh. John Travolta. <laughs> no, he was wearing it on his head. Oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Boom, boom. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. No, Edward, go. You were going to speak. <laughs> yes. No, I was going to say, actually, there is right now products that are being involved, and we'll address that issue. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, well, for- one of the big questions always has been, women always say, like, why do guys not... And I said, well, I guess if they've been out dumping, jumping and stomping and chasing you around the block for an hour, <laughs> they probably won't smell too good, will mm-hmm. it? Right, So right. the reality of it is there, there are some products coming out. So you're going to see a big... How about uh, just an old-fashioned bath or shower <laughs> with dump what does what right? does yeah. rose do yeah oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you know what you cannot go there no no, no i'm asking because you would think about as, what as a veteran <laughs> how does rose as handle a that veteran that, woman that, veteran that, vagina <laughs> what? we're going to have a lot of editing to do wow. okay. no i just wanted to get ralph's take on it yeah it's his mother you cannot insult his mother Thank i you, love Tara. rose and rose if uh-huh. she were here she would be willing she to talk like about a rose everywhere Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's what she does. Enough said. Leave Rose out. Thank you, Dara. Okay, we're <laughs> here to talk about the Oscars, remember? Or yes. the, the award Edward. season. Edward. Ed, yes. Yeah, Edward's so going to talk about Are we going to start with fashion and get the shallow stuff out At, of the way well, first? Well, it's all shallow. Well, one of the interesting things on this, this carpet, I have to tell you, I never saw so much glamour at one time and everybody trying to do their best at glamour. But one of the saddest things I saw, well, I don't know if you did, and it was kind of embarrassing. It looks like they all kind of went to the same hairdresser for a while. Because almost everybody had the same side sweep. With Lucky three, for you. With three, girls, <laughs> yeah, with three <laughs> girls hanging on the side. And even though, but uh, the one that really uh, set the, the look completely was uh, Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. What a beauty. What a flawless natural look. I mean, she she's just so carried beautiful. it off so gorgeous. I cannot believe she's then, almost 50. Well, the interesting part was here she had just gotten up and they've been filming her. Here's this beautiful thing. And then this lady who won for best uh, costuming, I think it was. Baz Luhrmann's wife. She came up oh, right. with the very same hairstyle. Style, right, badly done, or else I don't know what happened. But it, it unfortunately the conflict was so obvious it was there. And then, then we have a couple more that were very interesting. Liza, I adore you. I adore she you. She had the I blue, purple, you. the purple. But the little blue uh, thing did not do anything yeah. but draw attention. But it matched right. her dress, didn't it? Well, yeah, but the reality yeah, of it is, you don't need that. You can it's get interest. Blue, she's yeah. Yeah. Blue she's at shadow. a point now right. that that she doesn't need all that little outstanding stuff. But Again, how about the short hairstyles that came in? Beautifully done, combed Anne back, very away. natural. Lupita, I ab- okay. Oh. Listen, Edward, if one more person mistakes me for Lupita, oh, I can, I can see why, Ralph. Mm-hmm. Well, but yeah. the only thing I, I am glad you took the little headband off before you walked in. What did you right. think? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody's wearing that little Edward, headband. Edward, what did you think of the headband? I thought it was elegant. I thought it was beautifully done. And it's a great introduction to hair accessories, which are going to be huge again, especially as we go through the summer and the holidays. But a simple way to glamorize something quickly. The problem everybody makes is, oh, I've got to go home and blow dry my hair. I've got to do No, the simplicity. <coughs> Pull it back, ponytail, a simple little accent okay. can make you glamorous. Do you think okay. she'll be going to weaves and... All that eventually. Well, eventually, it, if the character calls for it, I'm sure. But she's I mean, actress. in her, in her, like they did this with Viola Davis. You yeah. know, Viola came on the scene as this kind of natural hair yes. look, and then of course, well, there's a difference. Lupita can be a leading lady. Yes. Viola's a character actress. Yes. But suddenly, yes. you saw Viola showing up with the the weaves and the extensions, and you know, it just I don't didn't. Know. But, that, but you dress. know what? Interesting part. That's what money can bring. Right. Put it that way. Then one thing is just kind of like if uh, if. The people that are around you are not being realistic and keep telling you, well, go ahead and just try something right. new, try something new. <clears throat> find your, find your uh, I always call it, don't look for uh, f- um, st- uh, fashion, look for your style. 
Right. Lose your style. Stay with it. Shorten right. it. Color it. Right. Add an accent. Do something. But stop trying to look like everybody else that you saw I on the cover. I don't think she will because she she's has got very such unique. a stunning oh, yeah. face. So beautiful. And she's known Classic. now and, for that. And recognizable everywhere. Exactly. In a crowd. She, I mean, this is she is a beauty. She stands yes. out. The, I thought the the colors were marvelous this year. The bright colors. Yes. They were. Gorgeous. And she wore color at all the. She was known for color on all the re, all the other shows as when well. When you are right? black, you can wear any color and look smashing. Yeah, I you do. You can wear that lime green color that mm -hmm. people can't wear. You can wear the yellow color that. But most I don't think black people wear. should wear orange. Oh, oh. sorry, bro. Oh God. <laughs> wow. What but did you yeah. think of the cream? There was a lot of cream dresses. Yes, and 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 beautifully <coughs> done. But the contrast was interesting in the fabric. Here's what I was noticing. Now, there was a lot of very smooth fabric, but then a few of the, shall we say, the uh, uh, Not established oh, older oh, actresses mature. But mature, were wearing things that were very frilly almost, which were elegant and beautiful. But again, it was just a conflict of statement. Here you had the new generation coming up, showing up their look, and it was always very soft. Even, believe it or not, even look at Lady Gaga. She came up with something simple. It was an obvious wig, which, but then we wouldn't know her any other way. Right, right. right. You know, and she presented herself without coming in making a fool of herself mm -hmm. or embarrassing anybody. But maintaining her style like but you're talking about. But she kept about. her style. Right. And that's what you have to do. So when you walk in the room, somebody can say, there she is. Mm -hmm. Or there Can we right. talk about, can Goldie Hawn stop? Poor. The but, Goldie Hawn. I mean, can she stop with the... She and Helen Mirren need to retire. Always the the shoulders and the boobs. And yes. it, it, is it time well, to cut the bangs? I think Helen no, no, Mirren no, looks no, I mean, no. not cut the bangs, it's, but cut the hair. Yeah, but it's not the time to cut the bangs because at one time, way back when I won't say when, that technique of full bangs we used to call camouflage cutting. We really <laughs> oh, did right. pre Botox right. days. Yeah, because if as we had all our actresses as they matured, we had to do things to make them look quickly fashionable mm -hmm. and of course they're right. well done so that full bang and which she is the goddess of she is we're very of. beautiful and very popular at one time but the problem is you cannot get that full face and then that hair bearing you underneath which almost gave her a chipmunk look almost and yes the, and the the the, the, is it the decoupage dress, what yeah. do you call this area it's not yeah. it's not pretty anymore yeah. no, i mean no susan lucci does the same thing well, she always shows her shoulders and well susan lucci She's a cunt. Oh, 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 oh I'm wow. sorry. It, it's church Susan, Don't hold back. I'm sorry. Susan but, Lucci, though, is exquisite. I love Susan. She's You're welcome exquisite. on this show anytime. Well, how about also, let's talk about another one that was, uh, uh, <laughs> should be a little bit careful now. And I felt so bad. And they still, Kim Novak. Oh, yes. I mean, Kim. What a tragedy. To I thought it was Linda Evans. Is that a, face? I know. Is I that well, a facelift tragedy? Uh, that, I think it's that's a Botox fill-up tragedy or also recent, recent. surgery, which the, they probably said, don't worry, in five weeks the swelling will right, be gone. Right, 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 right. And it didn't happen. Right. Uh, you know, and it, what do you think? Let's go back to Goldie Hawn for a second because as a woman, of course, I am interested in all of this <laughs> stuff. The cheeks. What is that with Goldie Hawn? Is that fillers? I, I would have to say fillers, yes. Okay. Um, but she's I, probably had a facelift uh, uh, along the way, right? Yes. But the, the fillers now suddenly became popular, and they were having filler parties or having everything. Right. And the problem is, if you get a group of people that all are doing the same thing, guess what? No one's going to tell you you look like heck. Right. Right? They're all going to say, you look terrific. because right. the Well, they all get this puffy and then plastic, shiny, pla you yes. know, there's some real housewife Well, we ladies. went through that whole period also. If ever you ever saw anybody in profile, it, they looked like Daffy Duck. <laughs> They were all getting their With lips, the lips done, yeah. and they acted like nobody noticed. It's Are like, people going to start telling them they don't look good and well, stop I, Not it? if they're paying them. To, that's I right. Mean. That's the problem. Very good point. Unfortunately, you're surrounded by yes people, and we have that example right now, not to bring up anybody else, but like look at Justin Bieber. I mean, the poor kid, uh, everyone says yes, no one says no, and look what's happening. Because they're Tragedy. all on the payroll. They're it's all the same on the payroll. as Michael Jackson. Exactly. Look at the young girls now, that one that just came out of rehab again. And everything. Lindsay and Lohan? Or oh, oh Bonnet. speaking Bonnet. of, Bonnet. Lindsay, tonight on OWN, her new show, is everyone watching it? I've got it, Tebow. Go ahead. Now, there's another young lady who could have been a classic beauty who could still turn back she into might. one. If she might. Lindsay if she, Lohan? Yes. Her show starts tonight. Her, no, I'm just talking about phys oh. physically, <laughs> she's a beautiful, beautiful but woman. But she's done stuff structure. to her face, too. She's already destroying the natural yes. beauty she yes. was. She was always a natural What's your beauty. recommendation? Yeah. To Leave anybody? it alone? No, no, never leave anything alone. It's about moist. I mean, the silliest of all of it is just moisturize, moisturize, right. moisturize. Stay out of the sun. Yeah, stay out of the sun. But you always see these people, and also that alcohol. Look out. Yeah. Oh, really? What Look does the out. alcohol do? Well, it's 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 one one. It, it destroys uh, vitamins in your body. Brain it can cells. Do all kinds of things. So it's going to affect how you absorb water, how you accept everything, how you digest your food. Everything is going to be affected. A little alcohol is good for everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
A margarita. A margarita is not. A margarita is not going to hurt anybody. Why did he look at me like that? I know. That? I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, it's not. No, he went. You weren't drinking that much in the back room. But anyway, the, no, no, it was in my IV. That's a, <laughs> No, but it's that's that's the beauty of of, of of the glamour. That's why we're here. And it's, there's some people though. Like I saw Cindy Crawford the other day on. Am I? Is my mic on? Yeah. 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 I, on Access Hollywood and. There's times I look at her and she looks kind of like she has that pillowy, but then there's other times where she looks really good, and it's almost like she's done just enough. Well, because you know, an interesting thing about you just said that that's where I come in, and people like myself, we have to get people ready for high def camera, which there's, is so oh, hard. That's, that's a tough. whole different ballgame. That's game. been a big change. One of the greatest reasons I just finished a commercial, I've got I finished a movie recently, and things are going on because what I get from the directors, if you're listening, don't forget I'm saying nice things about you. Hmm. Um, is that they'll Until say, the mics are off. I know, really. No, but no, but what they say is, thank you for not overdoing it. Thank you for not trying to create your art. Like, I'm right. going to create it. No, no, give her her face. With the new reflective colors, whom you might be interested in, you can, you can quickly, you can go over something and it'll disappear because it's reflecting light now. Interesting. As opposed to covering it and caking it down. Right. Some of the new high def powders are reflective powders. Okay. And that's what you do. Where you want to hide something, Make sure you powder it and conceal it. Don't don't bury it with a concealer, a minor concealer. Ralph, are but you taking notes? Yes, I'm totally. Yes. Totally. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and 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 then, but the new high defs are wonderful. I'm not kidding. But again, if you're going to be photographed under bright flashlights, black, stay away from high def, because now what are you getting? Reflection, and that high bright light hits you, and next thing you know, you look like. And that's why so many of those faces look wow. like they're just scared to death. And the reason is because you're getting all that reflective light. So all you're getting is the eyes and the mouth and the teeth. And wow. Planet Earther, you're listening to Edward Jimenez. He, and Jimenez. He, uh, Edward's at askedwardreview at me.com. Askedwardreview at me.com. And also lasplashmagazine.com. What's, tell us about that. With well, well I, uh, I was asked a while back to do, just make some comments to them. And, and so I have not kept it up, but I'm going to. Uh, I, I review hairstyles. You can write to me. I'll answer your questions. Uh, but also, not only that, I'll be going in-depth about other products, salons, people that are happening in town, uh, mentioning them. Uh, I have the biggest ego in the city. But I you also have the biggest what? Ego. Oh, ego, I'm ego, sorry. Ego. I heard something No, else. but I also know that there are such talent in this town, unrecognized talent that really needs to be introduced. Uh, you don't, just because you can well, wear a ponytail and a hat, or know somebody right. famous doesn't mean that you're great at what you do. Yeah, right. that was uh, odd. You know, but, they worshipped him at his feet. You know, but the problem, the reality mm. is, it's the people. Jose Bear. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that. But anyway, the people oh, around them. Jose. No, but the reason the people around them are actually the creative source. If you notice, a smart person surrounds themselves with talent. Right. And permits that talent to express their ideas. Unlike uh, Rachel you know. Zoe, who freaked out when that Brad. Who Brad got his own got show. Got his own show, and yeah. now she's going downhill. No, you should be grateful exactly. with somebody. I, I've had I've had people that have worked with me and for me and different things that have gone on to great things. And guess what? We're best friends. We love each other. I have a very dear friend today. It'll be on Access Hollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll even comment. His name is Carlo Navoa. He's doing great work and uh, a very talented young man. Excellent. And, and I'm always so grateful to see good people do good things. Yeah. And thank you for plugging your friend, Edward. Excellent. You know, and so, uh, well. No, is it, do you want me to give out this phone number also, Edward? What the phone number that's here? Yeah, my yeah. You have my phone also, number. Also, well, I, you know, there's. Well, you've got all kinds of. Oh no, no, no. that's my stuff. business. Three one zero seven one three eighty four thirty three. If you want to directly get in touch with, and make an appointment, and yeah, yeah. Yes, anytime. And uh, I, I, I kind of enjoy first off establishing who you think you are. Let me know who you are. Uh, so many people come to us and say, "Oh, well, you know, I, I want a new look. I want to be glamorous." And in reality, they're not. Glamorous they're not going to keep up the glamorous life. Right. Right. So here you've done all this work, charge this money that they're complaining about, saying, my God, you charge on me. But then suddenly they go home and they don't do it. They don't right. keep it up. And then people say, you paid all that money. You can't that? put lipstick on a pig. Exactly. Oh, well. well. But it's, it's uh, you know what the worst, it's like buying a beautiful dress and you don't press it, you don't send it to the cleaners, you wash it in the laundromat, and then you put it back on and go, look at this dress. It's terrible. It had nothing to do with the dress. The it best advice the Edward ever gave me is uh, don't wash your hair every day, Jasper. It yeah. dries it out. Yep. Yeah. Well, don't. So once a month is but fine. But you can rinse it. <laughs> yes. You no. can rinse it. But he it. always said rinse it. Always rinse it rinse. every day, but and don't strip all the oil out of your hair Yeah, and his hair's gotten longer. Women are always saying to me, oh, my ends are dry. And I, you know, oh, I use conditioner every day for about a minute. Right. The reality of it is 
put it on, wash your hair, add that on the ends. On the ends is where you need it. Where it's right, put it where you need it. It's yeah. like a sore. Put the, put the medication where it's at. Right. Then roll it up if you can. Sleep with it overnight. I swear. In the morning, you'll look like a million bucks. Wow. wow. Well, you well, know, sp- go ahead, Ralph. Thank you. Speaking of updos and hairstyles. Mm-hmm. Wasn't it interesting when Jennifer Lawrence's best friend, when she tripped and she grabbed <laughs> her friend, she didn't actually grab the hair, funny. but she did grab the nape of her neck, you know, and I forgot who the designer was of that updo. It was Jennifer Lawrence's best friend, but I, 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 I don't, I really I, can't. I, I, her that her, one, I her, her I friends got her friends updo has gotten more attention now than Jennifer's fall has. Oh, wow. But you would love something like that well, for well, yourself, right? Because we were talking about at the, uh, the radio show, we were laughing at... Um, Don't make another reference to that show. Right. To that, uh, her best That's friend like was saying... That's like 30th she, reference he's made to Manchester. She wrote a blog well, about the him. whole incident of going... And it was such a well-written blog. But the funniest thing was she was like... You are not a human being to these people unless you are a movie star. And when Jennifer fell and grabbed onto her friend and the fr- friend fell down too, not one person asked how she Nothing. was. But instead, all she heard was, hey, you in the big dress, get the fuck out of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> she did? She did? And and yes. That, that came from Meryl Street. Yeah. Oh, oh, she did? Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, Meryl, someone needs to help Meryl. She's yeah. got that matronly thing going that she can't seem to figure it out. It's like well, I think the hair was like a grandma, yeah. and then she's in the, the white or the beige, or just looked but like I she think, was embalmed. Yeah, but I think what she's doing, if you really think about it, is she's just, again, being herself at those times because she's such a character actress. I mean, she becomes these people. And I think that with her, her reality is. But her listen. natural personality is very funny and light. Oh, yeah. She's, she's yeah, very, very funny and light, and it doesn't ever seem to reflect that in her style. Hmm? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she's, right. she's funny. But she was she, always a big admirer of Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> I could tell. Yeah. So Nathaniel, so uh, overall just the entire award season. I want I want to bring this up. Don't you do you guys feel like there's just too many awards? I mean, I have a theory either start with the Oscars first and go from there because by the time we get to the Oscars We're and this is out. this is sort of like as an actor thinking, if I if you think of the Oscars as the pinnacle or whatever, well, by the time you've won the Golden Globes and the LA Film Critics and the Boston Critics and the thing, what I, you you're you're saying the same speech over and over. It's the same winners over and over. This occasionally a different SAG member, SAG award wins. I don't know. I'm just to the point where it it diminishes the appeal of the Oscars. There's so many leading up to it. It 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 it's a good point. It is, but it's not going to change because it's a big business. Golden Globes, Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Which is one of the best ones, but uh, it's um, the most fun. It's the most fun. But Hollywood Foreign Press Association, if you ever look at oh, I, yeah. you know, who it's made up of. It's I mean, they've like, come you know, a long way. They've come a long way. But, you know, originally it was like some. Uh, Pia Sidora uh, one. So. Uh, oh, yeah. It's uh, uh, somebody Remember from that? outer Swabovia film critic. Right. You know, from these uh, unusual nations no one's ever heard of that change their yeah. name every two years. Uh, <laughs> and, so it's, and it's literally like 10 people. Yeah. I mean, it's like I think six it's 30 or 30 something. Yeah, now, whatever. But they've come a long way, and it's a huge business now right. as a lead in for the new year, for the new season. But uh, for me, one of the biggest switch ups that happens this year is you're seeing the industry voting for not newcomers, but younger people. Right. And we saw that this year. Right. It's like, okay, De Niro's had his time, and Streep's had her time, and people are finally, as there's older, as people are getting older, as members They're of They're dying out so of the forth. academy. I hate to and say that. And you have it, younger but. ones coming up who are giving to the Nyongos and, and the Jared Leto's that now, this wouldn't is the other, have happened five years ago. This is the other question I have. We had Sally Kirkland on, you know, Oscar nominee last month, and yeah. I've known Sally for years, and I, I I thought I knew how the voting actually happened, but Whoopi Goldberg on The View the other day was explaining it in a whole different way. I have never heard of this. Are you, Do you guys know about the how it, how they vote at the Academy? It's... I mean, because people that are in that field, writers get to yes. vote for writers and things well, like the that theory, until you get the big ones. I had always heard was actors vote for actors, everyone vote, and then everyone votes for best picture. Right. Mm-hmm. But this is what Whoopi said. What? You, even the actors vote in the category they were invited into the Academy in. So Whoopi came in as best supporting actress category. That's what she votes for. No, I did not know that. Really. And so people were on the view. Barbara was like, "I had no idea." So you only vote in the ca- you're invited in in a certain genre and then in a certain category within that. So uh, for actors, 
Whoa. So I thought, well, no wonder it's kind of very. And then the guy who runs IMDb, who finally was, for years we've been saying, who the fuck, what is IMDb? This guy was on Good Day LA with Steve Edwards. And, and I wish I had heard the whole interview, but he was basically talking about how for Best Pictures, they, it's not necessarily who's getting the most votes overall. They take it by category, cinematographers. And if there's not a consistent person, they'll go down to the second most vote getters so i would love if anyone's listening if anyone can call in and tell us how the fuck do they vote for the academy awards because it's i googled it there's like four different things that came up yeah Yeah. so it's all very very strange confusing and and it makes it i think it makes it more confusing with having 10 nominees for best picture the reason they did that though was so that smaller independent pictures have a greater chance but then this should only pick nine they picked nine. Was it only they one? left it was off nine. one. Just, it was yeah. like, right. no, but you know what I mean? It was like, well, why did you bother to change well, it to ten? Well, that's because it was only nine good well, films. Well, I, th- I, think, I think that's what so the guy... So you're saying like for Nebraska, giving a movie like Nebraska a chance to a be chance included. against a Wolf of Wall well, Street or I something. Yeah. But then when you even talk about Nebraska, you are talking about Alexander Payne. You know, he's not really an indie guy who's coming out of nowhere. I mean, he's an established person. But, but the general public sees it as indie right. because yes. they don't know many of the cast other than Bruce Stern. Or they so, might know yeah. Will. Or, but yeah. yeah. But it looks like an indie. What exactly. about the whole Leonardo DiCaprio, everybody's upset that he gets nominated so much he's <coughs> never won? Well, Glenn Close has never won, and Amy Adams has never okay. won yet. But so that's not a well, thing. Well, that put her in her place, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, that's fine. No, no, no what no. I mean, we can name no. it, but I know yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. On. Yeah. It's kind of too bad because I, I do feel this was probably – other than I think Leo's best work was when he was younger, like Gilbert Grape, Grape. and those kind of. Oh, wow, but yeah. since Titanic, I felt this was probably his strongest performance ever. But then it's just you're up against a, math, a performance like Matthew McConaughey. So. Right. I think when you change your appearance as much as Jared Leto and Matthew McConaughey, it was the same thing with um, Charlize Theron when she played that and monster. Hillary Swank. Yeah, the killer. Yeah, and Hillary, Hillary Swank. Swank. Right. You're, you're always going to get the Oscar. It, it seems. helps, don't you think? It seems. When you lose weight, gain weight. Who said it doesn't help to be ugly? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's that's the that one time. Right. Well, especially right. if they're beautiful yeah. exactly. and they change that their That transformation, life. it's sort of yeah. like right. it isn't just We the don't see, you know, Harry Dean Stanton becoming gorgeous all of a sudden. It doesn't go the other Could way. Could be done. Well, there you, there's <laughs> With hope. the right hair, dude. With the right hair, doing right, right makeup, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the other thing is overall there were just no surprises. I, that was my point about leading up to – the same people win leading up to an Oscar. And I know occasionally there's there's a surprise. But Well, some people are upset that Lupita did win when she's such a newbie that they should have given it to Amy Adams. I thought Amy Adams. Well, there's a whole controversy, too, about who, how many people actually vote. Right. How many Academy members actually watch right. the movies? I mean, I yes. know some Academy Very people, much. they don't do watch the movies. And yeah, so if you don't know who's I know there. as a SAG member, I'm just be honest, you know, we're supposed to watch the movies before we vote. Can we say everybody at SAG watches the movies before they vote? No. Just like with the Emmys. You know, you tend or to... Or liking a post on niece. Facebook. My <laughs> niece gets the movies. I'll ask her if she votes. I mean, you're supposed to. A big criticism of the Academy, too, That would be terrible if you don't watch them and vote. Well... Oh, wow. But there's so many. There were a lot of older members going older back members. that it would they wouldn't even bother to watch the movies. Their grandchildren would tell them who to vote for. You know, that's so, true. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like, honey. What are these things they call talkies? Yeah. You know, so yeah. They're a little bit out of it. <laughs> they're like, dad, you know, vote for Jennifer Lawrence. We love it. She's hip. She's cool. Mm. Right. Well you, you, well, you hear again and again from people I, I do such thing. Oh, yeah. My uh, my grandfather, my uncle, or something, he gets these tickets. They just he just gives them to us. Right. I mean, they don't even bother. They're voters. They don't right. even bother to go. Right. Mm. Right. You know, because right. it's kind of like, oh, another evening with, the, you know. Right. But uh, but it's also different now. And excuse me. They, but, you know, now that you've got the ability to down download them at right. home and watch them in private instead of actually go to a theater mm-hmm. to watch them and that's a big change these right. days versus but a don't you think ago. that has to be a younger person that's going to do that yes again an older I, this Good is point. not I mean yeah. I have friends who are you know Edward's age and stuff that <laughs> actually <laughs> Wow. 35. No, that actually, <laughs> this many. That actually have you, compu- they have computers. <laughs> now now you now you see, see now Edward, you see Ralph's why, really glad you're here now like for that. a second. Watch. Now you see why I really messed up his hair. Okay. okay. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I have been in Edward's shop and people think that we're really serious when we're talking <laughs> well I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> but um I think I've been to your shop with him. Well, yeah, I've Edward and I go back 20 years. At least. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Anyway, I do need color. To I was very I'm, young. I was very young. Oh, I was yeah. very young. I was very foolish then, you know. You I used to let anybody you in. You really don't age. You have Edward really hasn't changed. You mean I was fat then? You're not <laughs> fat. <laughs> you're, you're, if you were fat, you wouldn't be on the show. That is, so funny. Like, that is so funny that you reacted like that because Jennifer Jimenez, who was here, she was so funny and she was sitting across from me. And I said something about fat and she looked right at me and go, because she used to be like heavier. Weight? She was heavier. <laughs> oh, no, really? Were you yeah. on that? Sh- no, I, I, wasn't, I well, wasn't that way. <coughs> well, but t- dealing with weight, it's like Dara was saying earlier at the beginning of the show, I don't know how, I don't know how Ralph does it. He does uh, a, a whole box of cookies, and I don't know how, where he puts it. Where does it go? And I'm sitting there in the green room going, obviously, it's called The Purge. The Purge. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Double plug. No, Ralph's got a good, meta- good metabolism. Mm-hmm. Well, Jasper right. and I both do cardio regularly. Well, he doesn't eat anything, so that's what his so thing is. True. But I eat everything, Winchell. and I just do cardio. Right well, you're always I, – They should be the a sponsor. The time I've known you, you're always amazing energy. You just like oh, – You're like nonstop. And I mean in a hummingbird positive bird. way. And you're like that too. Yeah. yeah See, very, we have good energy. Yeah. We just keep – Yeah, we don't want going. bad energy li- in here. And I like – You what? We, we don't want bad energy in here. No. And I – Oh. So, um, <laughs> you see, I actually, for once, I was being very respectful of Ralph. <laughs> Did Ralph give you the <laughs> look? And that's why he didn't recognize I it. I mean, okay. he was like, he couldn't believe it. He goes, what happened? Did you have a blood sugar <laughs> drop? All of a sudden, like, oh my God. Have, have some water. Have another donut. <laughs> so, so would you? So, overall, the show itself, the Oscars. We'll talk about that. Did you? Did you enjoy the show? Uh, did you feel it was boring? Uh, did you think? Did you like Ellen? Did you like the pizza bit? Anything? And crickets. Bye-bye. Uh, I, <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. Uh, I am glad that we're no longer doing huge production numbers for everything. Right. Because that's what always makes it uh, right, go right. O- over long. Right. Um, and it went 30 minutes over without it. Oh, and one one thing I did notice I was very delighted to see, though, is that rarely did you hear any of the orchestra playing over anybody. Most people... Mm. Um, Nobody got played off for either. Ex- except right. that, what was that one woman, that documentary about the women gospel singers? Oh, her, oh, to, who the, sang her who, acceptance speech. Which yeah. is a hey, great, hey, we met hey. And it's like, okay. And we met Darlene, Darlene, Love. Darlene Love. And I told and the people Darlene in my party, she's okay, fierce. who's got the remote? You know, well, listen, let's fast forward well, to this. Thinking, she's actually really good. She's amazing. She, oh, yeah. Yeah. But Darlene, Darlene Love? The but, bit went on too long. That's right. what I That's what I thought, too. Now, I thought when she started riffing, started singing, yeah. that was fierce. But just less than eight bars. Just go, hey, hey, Me too. Me too. Ralph, you've gotten the note. Don't make a meal out of it. Exactly. Right? Less is more. Exactly. exactly. But when yeah. she kept going, then it got aborted on embarrassment. And a friend at my party said, <laughs> as she kept going. You had a, friend, a party? How a friend, fun. A friend said. Uh, you know, you had a people. party? Wait, your friend. And, and, and a friend said. <laughs> I love when I'm Kim Novak just got back her dignity. <laughs> 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 well, the woman kept singing. So it's Kim Novak just got back her dignity. Where's Jacqueline, the where's Jacqueline the Bissett when right? you need her, right? <laughs> oh, wow. my God. Kim Novak was like the Jacqueline Bissett at the Golden Globe. That, that poor <laughs> thing. They drugged Jacqueline from the parking lot. Remember, she didn't oh, know yes, where she was. Yes. Oh, my no, God. I, I thought they hauled her out of Madame Tussauds. <laughs> <laughs> I found her shift had ended <laughs> at uh, <laughs> Males on Sunset. Her up, would, you, her would you not love to be at a party, seriously, where they were all invited again? And here they're going to try to upstage each other. And if they don't fall asleep or fall in their soup, I mean, you'd have a really wonderful evening, I think. Sure. Well, well, I think there should be a, these faces, of right? all. Of, I mean, we're all texting, texting during the, you know, just bitchy comments to people oh, yeah. back uh-huh. and yeah. forth. It's just hideous. You know, well, I like the bit. Oh, go on. No, no. I was just going to say, I've worked with so many people. I mean, some of our old divas and stuff, and I went to them. Some of them are no longer with us. But they would come into the shop. It was so funny. Nobody recognized them at all. Right. They, they'd yeah. walk in. they go, as a matter of fact, you almost embarrassed me badly one time when somebody walked in. <laughs> you no. said, who's Who's that old? Who's, a, who's that old lady? And I went, and I just said, and it was Bruce oh, Jenner. Somebody, no, it was Bruce Jenner. Yeah, no. And he said, not yet. No, but it was. And then she left, and Did, she was. Is she alive? She was like, all oh, hey, hey, no. Who uh, was she, it? Oh, say no. it. She's dead. Oh, give us well, a clue. It, it was so long ago. No, it was, a movie it was she was in. It was Edie Gourmet. Oh, oh. He, well, she just died oh, I recently. Her. Well, I mean, it's just yeah. so sad. But she, but she could glam up so neat. Not and that, that day. And that Not person, that day. No, but when she walked, no, she'd always walk in. Like I thought this, she was bringing like lunch. This. I love it. You know? <laughs> <I thought laughs> 
And I the, thought she was delivering lunch. That, Jasper, that <laughs> was before paparazzi <laughs> internet. Where, I, didn't I, I didn't see worry. Steve Lawrence. If Steve wasn't with her, I didn't recognize her. She, they she they yells were, at, who brought the corned beef? <laughs> I know. They were such a nice couple. No. Well, they really weren't. Had a and I was really young then, and too. Were, oh, what a nice oh, I was nice really couples. young then. I didn't know. Oh, I know you were. Right. Yeah, so was I. He's been nicer now. Oh. Okay. But with tweeting about the show, I sent out a tweet that said, I think Kim Novak's life alert necklace was quite lovely. Oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> but in hindsight, had rhinestones. but I, but if you think about it, I look Which back at it. If you she, need to really call, okay? she actually, she actually didn't I, look that bad. Like I, fa- I had taped the Oscars, so I went back. She's holding up pretty good, considering. I mean, there's just something about. But you know, the sad part is, I mean, when you see the glamour she once I know. was. I mean, she was the epitome of cheekbones and 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 figure, and also she was sultry and sexy and vulgar and all those things. And then you see what happens. But so you know what, Edward? Take she's not that much older than Jane Fonda. Oh, look at no, Jane. really? Look at Jane Fonda. I mean, oh, I mean, incredible. okay. What there's some. Kim's only what. 81 she's not jane fonda's had some really good she work. has the most that amazing is, surgeon that, i want to know the name of her surgeon ever that's good but work don't a lot of it's not only the look but it's posture yeah if i mean i'm talking genetics about, if, if they, they, no it's oh, genetics man but yeah. i'm talking about posture right pull your shoulders back upstairs. and i swear to god right. it'll knock off five well years kim's been anybody. living up in portland you know she's yeah. been wow. up in oregon all these just years. a fog <laughs> to that to your voice it's like what <laughs> <laughs> they all want that whole group. All of them went off to do something. You remember? Well, that? you know, Kim's one of the girls. Yeah, I mean, she's been one of the girls for years. Yeah. So it's. But I expected her what? to sort of sit what down. What does that on mean? Is she a, a lesbian? Yeah. Kim oh, Novak. Yep. I expect was, her to sit down on the stage and say, "I don't like heights." You know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, don't, okay. I missed that one. Vertigo. Vertigo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you probably you love. You would probably love Vertigo. You like old. So movies, what about right? when Jennifer Lawrence I, came out? I did out see it. I and, can't remember. And she she scolded she the people for laughing. The, the, the Lettos. She did what? She, she cha- well, as she as she was coming. Was out she to joking? Present. Well, no. She was. Apparent, according to Jared Leto, as when Jennifer was coming out to present, you heard Jennifer say, "What are you laughing at? What's that? What's so oh, yeah. funny? What was that all about? They thought so she, she was, was going to fall. So it was Jared Leto and his brother and mother. They were laughing. But they weren't laughing at Jennifer. Oh, they no. were laughing at Ellen, who was standing behind Jennifer, oh, no. miming like, oh, please don't fall, please don't oh, fall. No. So they were laughing at that, but Jennifer thought they were laughing oh, at her. And so then Jared did. released yeah. this whole uh, press Thing, release right, saying, about and oh. I kind of am in his court on this. I do believe what's happening with Jennifer now is, she, because she is really young, she got known for being so real and honest. Now she's trying to manufacture it and play it up a little bit. That's a good point. I feel like it's not as organic anymore. Yeah, because when she her tripped, making it that didn't comment look, it's, coming out, it right. was like, okay, bitch, just. Plus it showed the now that we know what the deal that is. That was a bit much when she says, what are you laughing at? Yeah. I mean, you're up there to present. Be but professional. she totally. But see, that's the thing is she's a victim of her own popularity. That's what now. I mean. Like if she because she's so real and stuff, that's an uncharacteristic I mean, look, thing the, to it do. It turned on Anne Hathaway last year. I mean, oh, didn't yeah, you? people were so before. mean to her. I know. Why, they were, why, why would they go after her so well, much? Well, people. Well, you're a, you're a girl. You know how mean girls are. I don't go after are. women No, like you that. don't. But, no. but well, it was. Twi- but that, it was mostly the writing. Right. It really was. Yeah. And this just in, Kim Novak's 81, Fonda 76. Okay, look at that. There Seriously. it is. Big Five deal. years difference. Mm-hmm. So Kim has no excuse. She's a lumberjack in Portland. <laughs> <laughs> so for a lumberjack, she looks pretty good. Is that's, that a lesbian term? No. She drives a Subaru. That's rude. She owns a Subaru. It's a lesbian car. <laughs> What's a Subaru? That's rude. She owns a Harley shop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 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 so are we gonna get? Are we gonna talk about Miss Miss Travolta? Okay. Wow. Um, I'm pissed. I'm just. Beyond you know go, what? Nathaniel. Do you think he has dyslexia? Do you think that's what happened? He was squinting. He was squinting so much. I turned to a friend. I said, "Did he go Japanese? Because I don't know." <laughs> he just hi, hi, James. He okay. was, <laughs> no, you know he, he really was, and he was having trouble. And there was a photo in one of the magazines the week after showing him with one of the producer production assistants going over his lines. 
Wait. So it's not like they surprised him with Idina Menzel. He was going over the lines. So what what's pissed me off is that he did that stupid press release saying, well, you know, uh, I've been uh, uh, up all, all night long over this, and I, I think what uh, we just need to happen is, like Idina says in the song, let it go, okay. let it go. So he made fun of it. But I think she deserves an explanation. Yes. Say something like, I just had LASIK surgery. I forgot my contact. Say something to explain how something I just so gave a blowjob in the bathroom right before. And that wouldn't be news. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a, I mean, as a gay man, doesn't he know who Idina is? I mean, it's like maybe that's what he's trying to do, act butch. That he doesn't. Oh, know who she is. her that name. Funny that thing. makes someone it, said that. They said, well, he he purposely threw it because you know every gay man knows it who she is. It's oh. given her a lot of publicity. Same thing with Kanye oh. West and Taylor Swift. Best thing that ever. Nobody happened ever to her. knew Taylor Swift until that whole. Toy Kanye now. Right. Because isn't Adina oh. married to? Is it not? Tay they're divorced. Tay Dig. Oh, they just divorced. divorced. Oh, they got divorced. Yeah. Oh. Well, all black men. Black okay. men. <laughs> oh my God! Broken families. Okay. There you go again. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah, but uh, uh, <laughs> what? Nathan oh, well, Nathaniel's cooking up something. Nathaniel is like me. One of the things that bothered me the most about when that happened, I mean, that m terrible mistake, it really was a terrible mistake. You're, this is national television. This person you. has worked so hard to be recognized. Yes. Then to have your name mispronounced. Right. Both like, names. Travolta would have would have gone ballistic Listic. if somebody had done that to him in his day. And But secondly, how long does it take you to rehearse that Thank line? Thank you. Right. Are you an actor? Come, one, come to rehearsals. Exactly. Two. Oh, he said he did. He claims he did. That's I don't know even worse. That's even worse. Yeah, that's even worse. Because you don't go up there. This is an well, actress. And then how he talks like he knows her, the wickedly talented. Oh, he was stretching. He, you can see. I've watched it a few times. He was stretching to try to figure out how to pronounce it. He kept oh, going on, and, so he was ad living and stretching did you feel to process. She, did you feel she was a little off in the beginning of the song? I'm yeah. sure it threw I, I, her. It threw her. And then I, yeah. someone said that the orchestra, their cue is to hear her name. You right. know, and they weren't even paying Jeez. attention. So they're waiting to hear her name. Oh. And it threw off the beginning of the song. I mean, because she was, I mean, she's an amazing singer. I didn't think she was that great as she can be. Right. She, you know. she can be better. But when he said, uh, what was it, uh, Adele Nazim, my first thought, seriously, my first thought is, oh, it must be the president of the accounting firm. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out. It's it coming out. I go, who the bit. hell is that? Because I didn't recognize the name. Being well, in let my me ask business, you a question. I thought it was. I don't know accounting. if you could answer this. When they're th standing at the podium or standing at the microphone, how big is the writing on the teleprompter? Oh, well, it's 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 right. It's there. probably what twelve feet away. It's as big as they want it. Yeah. Right. I see. They it's can increase. Oh, you can want specify during of, rehearsal. A lot of my clients, when I go on set with them and we're going to do something, they'll stand there and say, uh, "Bigger, Good. bigger." bigger. Bigger, and then all of a sudden it gets, and they go, now I can read that. Yeah, exactly. John Travolta says that all the time. Bigger, right. bigger, 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 bigger. <laughs> yeah, but it, I'm just saying, it's, it, you know, it's, it's this uh, plan thing. Had he really shown up at rehearsal, that could have been set. He said, I can't see it. Enlarge it. Or, or give me one less line and let my other person or bring somebody on with me and let right. them do it all and but, let them whisper in but the just clear. I mean, it's like, it's like your name for today. You know, we always joke and I pronounce the Spanish people's names on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's like if I were presenting, you, you, who am I presenting? I'm presenting Edward Jimenez. Jimenez. How, do, how do you pronounce this name? It's Jimenez. Yep. So you practice that and at least, you know, yeah, it's you, like, and you respect, well, I mean, you respect. get close mm -hmm. to it. Thank I mean, you. When I was in Canada... I was in the hotel room and I kept saying, no, not here. And I kept hanging up. They said, uh, we'd like to speak to Mr. Jiminy Z. <gasps> and I'd hang up again. It's wrong number. And I'd hang up. Mm. Again. No, no Just crickets here. Jiminy, <laughs> Jiminy Z. Jiminy Z. That would okay. be a good like drag name. And, uh, for you. <laughs> Jiminy Z. Oh, no. Could you a imagine? good stripper name. <laughs> no. But Miss, even Jiminez, 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 Jiminez is still closer. Right. Yes. Than yes. Adele, Adele Z. Z. <laughs> he my, made her Middle my Eastern. My father. And she's a yeah. Jewish girl. Yeah, my father, who was mayor of our town, and he was, uh, the, you know, head of BFW thing. He worked hard, and he has a baseball film. He used to introduce himself as uh, Fortunato Jimenez. Why? My dad Just because everybody I love was that name, Fortunato. It. His name is Fortunato, but he would always introduce himself oh, really? as Fortunato Jimenez. And it wasn't until later that he really started saying Jimenez. And the reason he told us was when we were being, when he was a man growing up in Los Angeles, if you had a Hispanic name or if you had an accent, you were considered either dumb or right. just in blind. So that's what he said. He told mm. us. He said, "I want you to speak English first and speak it perfect." Right. Mm. So I'm still trying. I was going to say, <laughs> I was gonna say how, "How's that working right. out for you?" How's that going? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So let me go around and ask, "What was your uh, Edward? What was your favorite movie of the year?" 
Not oh. not who won or should have won, but just personally, what what movie, which uh, movie did you? I, really I, I happen to really visually, I really like the Sandra Bullock. I'm sorry, I really like the Sandra Gravity. Bullock one. Visually, it was just to me. Uh, I I know what goes in cinematography and, and the special effects, and and then her, them to have to perform through a little mask like this, they're handicapped all the way. Right. So you have to mm. understand half the time. That, that's just to me. Yeah. For her to show so much emotion, emotion in her eyes. Yes, and also George Clooney to to, to actually downplay. His personality right. downplay what his potential. That was I. I can. I thought for less is more. Right. Mm-hmm. right. That was just the that way I looked great. at it. Yeah. yeah. Nathaniel, yeah. do you have? A I fan? love Gravity, but honestly, I really regretted not seeing more attention for Long Walk to Freedom, the Nelson Mandela film with oh. Idris Elba. Because he got some notice. Oh, he's so but, hot. But, oh my God. Well, <laughs> yeah, he's a great oh. actor. He's a great actor. I didn't see the movie yet. <laughs> I'm going to. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, Let's see the. They did the other one. They also had um, Jennifer Hudson did a version with uh, Terrence Howard that kind of came and went went straight to video. I don't remember that. Yeah, well, that's why. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) No, it it came out last year, but it went straight to uh, DVD. That's so, hard to think of all the year of the movies that you've but seen. But I just so like for, yeah. for me the Butler was my the favorite Butler movie was of the year. Movie. Yes, and yeah, I, I actually thought the Butler was going to be the big like the help of this year and I guess 12 year I guess there's the adage you can only have one black film. But <laughs> I don't know that was such a backlash. I mean I don't know if it's an Oprah ba- backlash but not one fucking nomination not for co- you couldn't come up with costume or you know what I mean? Not nothing in that whole movie. But you know, my favorite person that I'm gonna do a horrible job mispronouncing his last name. David Otto. Who played the son? Who played the son? Brilliant. Brilliant. Incredible. Cute. Don't which you son? The older or the younger son? The older. The, older, the one who oh. became the militant. Right. Oh, right. I mean, don't you Panther. think if Twelve Years Fabulous. had not come out, the, the butler, butler? At least David would have been. I mean, Forrest Whitaker. It's one of the b- best things he's oh, yeah. done as well. So that was my favorite. But movie. connecting that to hair and makeup. I had it. So there's a big problem with Oprah, and I wish they had made her look much different. Mm-hmm. All sincerity. Right. I wish they, I had v- great difficulty acclimating to her character because right. it looks so much like Oprah. Mm. That, in all seriousness, I kept waiting at any moment for her to say, and you, you get, get a, a car, car, and you, you get, get a car. car. But see now, car. but that's so why she like was, her. that's why I think she was so good at. Has everyone seen the movie? At the end, you know, whenever she transforms her, as she aged in right. the movie, that's like all like how she was in the color purple. I know what you're saying. When we don't see Oprah and we mm-hmm. see these a character, mm-hmm. I agree with you. That's why at the end I thought it was poignant because you you're didn't, absolutely right. You didn't Just see, the but see for me, I I bought her. From the really? beginning, yeah, the, in the living room scenes, uh, the way she was plopped down with the cigarette, the way she fended off. Uh, for, you're Terrence right. Howard. It was just the look for me. I um, wish there had been a bit. Why a does she have look. to I, act? Why doesn't she just give it an, the role to someone else? Because she doesn't have a book club anymore. Well, I yeah. mean, you've done so much. <laughs> just, I don't know. Yeah, I know it's, it's ego. It's, it, yeah. it's ego. But there seems like when she. When she did Beloved and when she pushes stuff, I, there's an interesting thing with her. People love her, and then when she promotes something, they tend to stay away from it. So it's interesting. Yeah. And she's an Academy member, so I, I don't know. Just I found it odd they couldn't get one nomination for anything. Yeah, But, you know, that's where um, I, I feel we have a responsibility, believe it, hair and makeup, costuming, everybody on the glam team, we call them. Um, it's our obligation to really sit down, and, and I have had – not arguments, but very <clears throat> deep discussions with directors. And I said, this wouldn't happen. Mm. That look would not happen. Right. Or, or, the, or the celebrity, oh, God, that's the worst. I don't want to even talk about any of those. But who walk in and demand that my look be this. Right. Because I always oh. wear lashes. Yeah. Always. Even if they're playing but a they character? But they didn't wear <coughs> lashes oh, right. Right. at that point. You know? Or, right. oh, I, I know my hair has got to be this way. And then you get your cameraman come and say, oh, that's shadow and screaming at you. and everything. But so we have to put our, you know, so with Oprah, do you tell Oprah, you know, Oprah, you should change the look. You know, is she really that available for information? And that's where we all get together right. and you get genius when everybody works together. Mm-hmm. Right. But who else did that movie? I thought it was fabulous for despite her small role, Jane Fonda Again, as Nancy Jane. Reagan. Mm-hmm. And yes. oh, Liv Schreiber. Cool. People Johnson. were upset. People that are don't like Jane Fonda because what? of the whole Vietnam. Right. Well, they were upset people. that she was even. Yeah. Was that's people. what they call it. Right. Acting. Right. right. Yeah. You I know? just thought in the movie made like a hundred and something million dollars. It's a big hit. So anyway, Ralph, what w- which was your favorite movie? I haven't seen enough to call it a favorite because I mean <clears throat> I enjoyed Matthew in Dallas Buyers Club because of his transformation. Right. Mm-hmm. That I really love that departure and yeah. the, all the weight that he lost for that. Twelve Years a Slave, I totally enjoyed the movie, but I felt 
disconnected. I, 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 fe- I, fe- <laughs> I felt, no, because it's like, oh, serious. It's, it's like third in a row, the help, right, the butler, right. 12 years a slave. For me as a black person, as a Negro, I felt, I, I, it was a wonderful movie, but I, I liked the depiction more in The Butler. I was more into the, and I really enjoyed well, and the I, help. I learned a lot in both, like the, you know, The Butler, there's the whole history of the civil rights, but also, I mean, the thing that was interesting about 12 years is we hadn't heard that story of a free man being who was being incarcerated. So that was interesting mm-hmm. in that respect, but I mean, I just, I just thought it was interesting that the butler was shut out. But. For me, I, <clears throat> if, if it wasn't one of these this year's contenders. I like the help because I like hearing things from behind the scenes, right. like listening to Edward and Nathaniel talk about behind the scenes stuff. And the help, it was, it was fun to see what do the maids talk about when they're together. What is it like on that side? Because when they're in the kitchen <clears throat> fooling around with each other, and then they come through the swinging doors, and it's all back to proper etiquette. Mm-hmm. That's we, what well, we got that in the Butler too, though, with Cuba Gooding Jr. All the guys, oh, right, that, uh-huh. that their comrade. Yeah, that was interesting. Dara, what's your favorite movie? I really uh, did like the Butler a lot, and I liked American Hustle mm. a lot. Yeah. Um, August Osage County, I watched, and I felt that the performances were a little forced, over mm. the top. But I thought that one scene where Romero Stoop was going crazy was yeah. brilliant. Totally I thought Julia, Julia Roberts was the best thing. I actually thought Julia, but also the girl that played the other sister. I, ha- I always hate saying that because she's not a star, but played the sister that was having the... Juliet? Yeah. Something? She did the yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, she right. did the not Juliet Lewis. Girl. No. Not Juliet Lewis. She's Australian. She played the, the, the sister that was having the affair with, she'd with the on, cousin. Turned out to be the brother. She'd yeah. be on the other side of the red carpet. We're gonna she would be on, on that, that side. Right. Go to the right girl. She's just lucky she got the part. part. You know? And I love Sam Shepard. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I also love Nebraska. I I, I haven't was, seen that yet. I was really surprised how much I loved it, actually. Yeah. It's a movie that I it stays with me, and I'm still thinking about it after the fact. But, you know, guys, this, the time is wrapping down. John, no. we're, are we getting close? We, we are very close. Five we need minutes. JW's five, favorite five movie. Minutes. Five yeah, John, John yeah. what's your favorite movie? Uh, you so know, I didn't movie. watch any of them, okay. actually. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mob Wives. So we're going to just move on then. <laughs> Brian, do you have a favorite movie this year? Was there one that... Pardon? Gravity. 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 I really Brian. loved Gravity also. Yeah, Nicholas Which? and Kevin saw Gravity. They really, really liked it. Me and William wouldn't see it because the intensity is a lot for us. What about Blue Jasmine? Did you see I that? I loved that too. I loved, I do you hate like Woody Kate, Allen. But do I, you like Kate Blanchett? I, I I thought she was I thought she and Sally Hawkins were amazing. So mm-hmm. now you were talking about uh, the Butler. <clears throat> I can't remember the name and I couldn't find it looking it up. But I remember a miniseries and maybe you remember it. Um, was it the seventies? A miniseries on TV about behind the scenes of the White House. It's like a six episode oh. series, mini series. You know, yes. I can't remember the name. You're I absolutely do right. remember You're that. Absolutely Very right. similar to the Butler, and it took them through the eras from Eisenhower to I right. forget who. Sure that I'm surprised no one reissued that to tie in That's with the Butler. That's interesting. But it was yeah, a fabulous mini series. Yeah. Right, Nathaniel, where can people find you and your blog and c- keep up with you? Uh, let's see on uh, FrontiersLA.com. The printed version that comes out every two weeks uh, has my uh, um, television uh, column now starting. In and that. say your full and name. It's, uh, Nathaniel Oliver Gray. G R E Y. And uh, it's uh, daily on the website every single day. I talk about what's coming to the, the movie screens and what's coming to your television screen. And thank Very you good. so much for coming back. And Ralph, you're still at the same old web, same old site. That <laughs> you are at. Yeah, Grind- your, grinder. You com. Your, is your grinder changed or <laughs> changed? <laughs> or is that the same? <laughs> no, he's sporting scruff now. <laughs> so yeah. scruff. Oh, now I didn't even know scruff was one the other day. I was like, what is like? What's ther- scruff? I'm clueless. And your Twitter about is old Negro. Oh. What? Oh, I can't remember. Did Camp Town oh, ladies. It's old uh, Negro man. O L E. Do the voice. Man. Do the voice. Do your <laughs> scat man. Old Negro man. <laughs> there you have it. I'm at old Negro man. Give it that. And Dara, you're at Nordstrom's. Right. <laughs> <laughs> at Nordstrom's. <laughs> at Nordstrom's. <laughs> yeah, your and entertainment dish. Entertainment dish with Dara on Facebook and Dara Zane Scully on Twitter. Right. And don't call me. Don't call. <laughs> She, no, wow. she's, she's and at, I don't want to meet for she's coffee. At, she's at Nordstrom screen. What do you mean my car is at my uh, at my amount? And b- yeah, by that way, totally. that was not an anti-Semitic. And speaking remark, of faith, you're at well, well, no, when, when people used to push the religion on my mother, she would say, "I I worship Nordstrom." So go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ralph, when's our next show? Another in April. Another. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I, to God, narrows it down. April sixth. April sixth. JW, 6th. can you write is him it? up again? Oh my God. Yes. No, another. 
other Facebook thing is um, those people that invite you to Candy Crush and the games. Oh, really? Oh, okay, they right. Oh. Can't, people, stop the fuck with the games on Facebook. Right. Some of us are just old enough to barely be figure out Facebook. But <laughs> right. who, unless you're a shut in. And you're in a nursing home, <laughs> and who the fuck can play these I know. games? Oh, great! Because didn't my bir- didn't the show end up on my birthday last year? I don't. It's know. It's when's your Ralph? birthday? I- April sixth. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Oh, I'm bringing. Perfect. What's your favorite cake? Is that, chocolate. Is that when the show is? No, you were gonna bring a chocolate cake last year. That's right. Did I not? For my birth, you didn't come to that she show. Promised. That I'm she made a show. promise and didn't do it. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna try and bring Nicholas because we're on spring break. Oh, oh that would be good. I really want him to come in. So April sixth. So maybe I should bring Rose to the next show. Okay, everyone, tune in for. For our next show on April 6th, unless one of us gets a job or something. But <laughs> right. if I get one, Ralph would take over like he did last time. He so. did a great job. <laughs> Thank you, Dara. Great to see on you all. On the set with Ralph Cole Jr. And this, <laughs> this, um, be sure and watch us on the YouTube channel. This will post in about a few days. Um, and uh, got lots of uh, editing to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, on, we're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. We're on ActorsRadio.com. And Grindr. Blog <laughs> Talk. And Grindr. <laughs> and we're archived here at UBNRadio.com. Just Thank pull you. the curtain over here to Bye-bye. the side. Just make it about me right now. Oh, you got oh, it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all just on you, Jasper. Oh, yeah. It's all on you, Jasper. It's all on you. you gotta, anyway, I'll, you've been listening to On the Set with Jasper Cole. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next month. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't miss a minute of On the Set with Jasper Cole. And get the inside scoop on everything going on behind the scenes in Hollywood.